Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and or good night, depending where you are in the world today. Welcome back to your Sunday things entertainment. It is, of course, our hardcore Curse of Strad campaign. Uh, without further ado, let us hand things over to our enigmatic GM for the evening. It is, of course, Johnny Hurricane. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode two. Um, the guy I killed is not here. He quit already. So, no, uh, he's actually going to be a little bit late. So we will not introduce his character right away. Uh, but we will get into that. Um, so we are going to be level two, potentially. Uh, and just to, before we get going, those of you that are tuning in, you know, hey, hit that like button. It does uh, actually helps when you're live streaming. So... By all means. It also helps post-game, but right now is the best time. Uh, and hello, Talon. Welcome. Why, hello. He's here now, so I can introduce him right away. Love it. All right, so we'll do our quick little recap, and we're just going to jump right into it, uh, because I would like to get out of Death House today. So we will try our best. Yes, please. So last, yep, yes, last session, our... Characters found themselves, basically, they, there's different versions of what happened to each of them, but they all found themselves, uh, ultimately, in a wagon, surrounded by a bunch of mist, which would inevitably have some wolves in it, uh, and all that. Um, there was a little bit of chatting, people woke up in certain orders, uh, there was no introductions at that point. Um, someone did leave a comment on that, it was like, uh, obviously these guys have played together before, it's like, yes they have, so... Uh, introductions waited until we got actually into the house but they were surrounded by the fog no idea what happened to them reduced to basically no supplies minus a little bit of food water rope and uh, whatever they ended up rolling for um and the wolves were coming and they were all like yo someone spotted that house the the lovely death house and in we went um looked nice from the outside to be fair you know like resident evil mansion style and resident evil one when the dogs are chasing them and shit like that and uh, you guys got inside, and the first floor actually wasn't too bad. You were able to find some equipment, get a shield, get some like knives and hatchets and stuff like that, um, a light crossbow, got yourself some capes. Um, the top hat. Did anyone take the top hat off of Solan when he was slain? I don't recall. I didn't. <laughs> um, Bami definitely didn't. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like something Melly would do, but maybe she would. But either way, uh, I'll write that down real quick. Okay. Um, but yeah, some stuff was taken from the first floor. You guys were a little bit more equipped. Uh, and the, the only really thing that really stood out here was like in the kitchen. It looked like people left in a hurry, basically. It's like, okay, what was going on there? No, no issues. And you guys go upstairs, still a little like, what the heck's going on? And Salon, incidentally, the guy that would die upstairs, got a tap on his shoulder, turned around and saw a ghost that was waving at him from a pretty good distance away, like about 30 feet, uh, and then she disappeared into the wall. Uh, from there, basically, you got a few of you were like, hmm, there's a clearly something behind this wall, but you could not get access to it right there without, like, legitimately just brute force. So you guys were like, alright, well, let's keep going up. Went up to the second floor. Uh, things got a little bit dicey up here, but you were greeted by the sight of a painting, uh, a large painting with um, a mother, a father, two children, and the father holding the baby. Basically a family of five. Um, and at first glance, it looked like they were all, you know, happy, good, um, all that business. But a few of you got closer and realized that, like, oh, the kids are being attacked by the bats. The mom basically looked like she wanted to kill the baby. It was, it was a whole big old mess. But it didn't matter a ton. The biggest thing here was that there were a couple of knight statues with spears and armor that Melly ultimately had to be convinced she could use as opposed to, you know, leaving them there. But you guys eventually got them on. Uh, and then you head into the library, so you're equipped. You had weapons, you had armor. I was feeling confident about our first fight, but uh, we went into the library first. Uh, did some investigation, found a secret room, had our first mention of Lord Strahd uh, via a note, basically calling the owner of this house his pathetic servant. Uh, yeah, stealing is bad, all right? Um, but there was also a few scrolls inside, also the deed to this house and a windmill. Uh, we learned that the house was the uh, the Durst family, I believe. Um, 
and that, uh, yeah, we learned that, well, out of character, we're a new Strahd's, how Strahd is, but yeah. Um, so, they at least know of Lord Strahd now, but other than that, not not really much in there. There was, uh, like, you know, some basic ink quill stuff that these guys took, and some journals. I forgot about, you guys did take some journals that can be used as spells, uh, spell books if needed. Um, but then he went to the other side, and that's when we had our first fight. A couple of zombies, one of them just would not go down. Like, I swear I rolled four or five, like, con saves, and he was he just stayed up for rounds and rounds and rounds. But ultimately, you guys won. Um, and then at that point, it was kind of like, okay, like, stealing is bad, but also these things are trying to kill us now. So, like, let's take what we need to get out of here alive, is basically what the bard was saying at that point. Uh, and I think, was it here or was it upstairs where introductions were done? It might have been here because I think Solan was still alive. So um, uh, it might have been up in the bedroom the first time we got into it because we went in there before we went to. You're right. Yeah, I think you're right. Bit, yep. Yeah. Um, so you guys went upstairs. There was another armor, but this was it was like full armor, but rusty again. Like downstairs, you guys didn't mess with that. Uh, went up to the top. There was like a bathroom again, looking to see if you could find a way into this secret door that you saw the ghost come from. Couldn't find an angle up here. Wandered into a rather nice looking bedroom uh the master bedroom clearly uh and i think this one had this one had the locked chest in it right with the uh the gem in it uh and a couple of other things as well um which was going to be a decent spot for you guys to long rest ultimately but you decided to go check out the uh the room in the south of that and that's where we ran into a little bit of trouble this was the head servant's room and inside of it there was blood on the floor in front of another door leading to another room, as well as a baby crying in the other room. I think it was Melly who went first, and as soon as Melly stepped on the blood, uh, a specter appeared and basically was like, You killed my baby! and started running and slicing. Uh, didn't hit Melly. Went for Melly twice, missed Melly both times. However, during the fight, Solan managed to land, I think, two shots actually, which got the specter's attention. And at level one, oh boy, all it takes is a stiff wind and you are defeated. So, Slice, Spectre killed, Solan the monk. That was it. Solan's dead. Could have killed Melly too, but missed her. Um, and also the baby crib actually did not have babies. It just had two of the uh, mosquito guys that I'm forgetting the name of currently. Sturge. Sturge. Sturge, yes, two Sturges. Yes, I was hoping... I was hoping there was going to be some way, like, you guys avoided the blood, like, wrapped around, went through the window, and like, ha, we got the baby, and then, like, I just put him, like, right on your face, but you guys just went right for the blood, so I was like, okay, <laughs> we'll do it that way. Um, all right. Solan was dead, you guys didn't really know him that long, but you put him in the bathtub, basically, like, you know, we can't really bury him or anything, and you looted his corpse of all the stuff that, you know, you might need. Um, and yeah, you decided that you wanted to long rest, so first things first. Uh, before we get to that long rest, there's only three of you currently up in the room. All I need to know is your order of which, basically, who's going to stay at, uh, watch at what time. So, who's going first, who's going second, and who is going third? Um, I'll happily take this one. Okay. I was going to say, I'll, I'll take first or third. So, I'll take second, and you can grab like up the, the back one. Yep. Cool. Okay, uh, Sammy, if you would roll me a perception while you are uh, doing watch, I will get you guys over to the other screen in just a moment. But Twenty-one, yes. Uh, okay, actually, one thing I did forget to mention about last time was that as you guys were getting ready to go for a long rest, it sounded like something was being rugged through the walls, like a sack of something was like... Shh like all around you guys and disappeared um you do hear that a couple of more times during your watch alara but nothing like nothing concerning i guess is the best way to nothing i'm gonna just shoot at nope nothing comes in like you got eyes on the windows the doors are closed all that business you're good Uh, and once you are done, you can wake up Melly. Yeah, boy. Uh, Melly, you can know. Uh, noise. It 
may haunt her dreams like it will haunt mine. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Melly, you can roll me a perception check. Uh, you are aware of the noise, so if it pops up, you'll at least know that's happened before. I only have four proficiencies. This isn't one of them. Boop. Nice. <laughs> kind of get oblivious. lost um, looking into the fire, I guess. I don't know. Just kind of, yeah. Just naive little obliviousness. Yep. Yep. The magical fire. Or the tiger rug, perhaps. There's a tiger rug there, too. Yeah. Yes. She's probably praying. Actually, you know what? She got distracted scribbling uh, holy nonsense into right. one of her journals. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Valmir's asleep on the rug, so I don't think she's there in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. maybe she. <laughs> when I told um, you but... yesterday, she's not. She's not entirely innocent. She just likes to think better of people. You're going to become. I can fix him in about one level. <laughs> uh -huh. so regardless uh, of your role, Melly, there are no incidents during your cool. watch, and you can wake up. Ooh. What's your name, Valmir? Valmir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go wake him up. Warn him about the noise. Mm. Morning already? Uh, close enough. Good. Enough that it's your turn. Good. Hi. Stretch. Pick up his watch. Melly crashes. Alright. Sleeps like a rock. Just, it's not easy peasy. Uh, yeah. Um, wow, look at that. That lovely number seven. I love so many sevens. Seven, 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 lucky sevens. Hey, my grandpa's going to the casino tomorrow. No. Send him some of that luck, huh? Right. Okay. Uh, seven, you don't really hear anything either. But uh, before your watch ends, uh, and everyone, you will be level two. Well, you, you made it through your long rest. Don't worry about it. Um, real quick, Talon, we're going to go over to you because you are going to have to work your way through the house. If you're, Are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so I don't need you to actually go through the entirety of the house. Basically, like, you can take a knife or a fork from the kitchen, like, as a dagger, um, and then the only really thing they left was, like, more of those black cloaks, so if you want one of those, you can have one of those also. Yep, I'm going to take a black cloak. No knife or fork or as a dagger. I'm going to use my crowbar as a weapon. Yep, that works. Out. You can do that. Um, and then basically what you're going to do is work your way. You will... Uh, Give me an investigation check as you're kind of going through. Yeah, let's show off your barbarian intelligence of a five. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, pretty clear to you. Uh, as I said, you started, but everyone, you could just basically see the husks of people running off into the fog. So you weren't alone, but you don't know where they went. And then you get here, and as you look around, someone's clearly been here very recently before you. Um, you've established that. And uh, you work your way up to the second floor, you know, it's like, hey, some zombies and hands are dead, all that stuff. Uh, work your way up to the third floor. All right, and I can drag you over there, so. And, um, uh, one second, actually, let me double check something. Hopefully you will have vision as soon as I get you guys over there. The house. Some of you have multiple tokens still. Whoops, I didn't drag. There we go. Some of you still have the multiple tokens. Uh, Talon, you should only have the one. Everybody should be up here. And uh, yeah, Talon, um, you do see the blood down below. Um, the door open. And then a door I head to the blood there. to investigate it. Um, okay. Yeah, are you ready to die there again? Uh, yeah, you know, that, that's my goal, is to die in the first five yeah. minutes of the next... Um, uh, is the baby still crying? <laughs> no baby's still crying. You will hear <laughs> the baby pounding. might still be crying because I jammed the door shut with the chair. Uh, uh, or with the, the brick or stick or whatever Solon had, I jammed it. It was his spear. Stick. We yep, there's, that's, that's, that's so there's a spear is. jamming jamming this door closed at the blood too. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm, I didn't want to. Yep. Um, and roll me a stealth check. On the off chance you somehow roll less than a fucking seven. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um. All right. So you're basically gonna get this little section, and then you guys will wake up from your long rest. But uh, what do you want to do in here, Talon? Actually, let's uh, get a let's get a descriptor on Talon. What does Talon look like? 
what race is he? Alan know, is, he? is he's a variant human. He's okay. about six foot tall, really kind of buff. He's an investigator, so he and he's bald. He's got a gray beard and eyes that have definitely seen way too much. Um, he was before he came here. He was tracking down a lead on his missing wife, okay. and then he just woke up in the cart like everybody else, basically. Oh, excellent. I certainly couldn't use something like that against you or anything. So, all right. Thanks. That works for me. Um, so what would you like to do in this room? The blood uh, at this point has dried, very recently dried. Uh, and there is no no blood on the spear because you are attacking a ghost. So it looks like it's just propping or holding the door closed right next to you. I want to not be in this room anymore just because of the blood on the floor. I'm going to try to figure out if I'm going to go up here to these doors. Oop, not that one. Up here and go in this room, basically, just to see if I can find out where the blood came from. Okay, so yeah, you, you open the door and you walk in. And Valmir, with your seven, this is when you notice that someone is up on the fucking same floor as you. <laughs> um, in fact, uh, used to uh, might just be just waking up as uh, the door is open. Probably the door opening is what woke you up. Uh, everyone is long rested. Everyone's got their spells, all that stuff, just so we're clear. But yes, here comes the awkward introduction. Yeah, but straight when I, away. When I walk into the room, I uh, I look around and say, oh, the people of the house. Um, thanks Alara. for your hospitality. Alara shoots up in the bed and aims a crossbow at the new person. Wait, who's got the deeds? The Alara? Me, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Valmir's going to, like, he'll have his spear ready to go and then be like, uh... Well, actually, she currently is in possession of the house and the grounds and uh, I believe a windmill as well. But please, who are you and what are you doing here? I'm a uh, talent. I'm looking, investigating my missing wife. Uh, I was looking for her and then I ended up right outside of this house in a cart. So I figured I would check it out. What, are, do you guys not own this house? Or what What were you guys doing here? Uh, technically she does. She holds the deeds. But uh, we also woke up in a cart. Though we were together on, on our own. Whoa, lady, back up. Back up, man. I don't know you yet. Molly <laughs> <laughs> well, just runs over and like... Oh, we, we woke up in the same cart. Hi, you must be going through the same thing we are. Sorry about your wife. That's awful. Can we help? Possibly. Uh, just back up a little bit, please. <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. So, hey, real quick, like, Alara, you got the best vantage point here. Um, when he opens the other door, and now he's closed it, but when he opened it to... Uh, yeah, you get a you get a look into the bathtub, and uh, Solan's body is not there anymore. Well, I think I know what was making all that dragon noise now. Oh, there's nothing in the bathtub. What are you talking about? Solan's in the oh. Who's Solan, and why would he be in the bathtub? What did he you died do with our friend. I, where I have no idea. I raised my hands up like there's no blood on them or nothing. Did I did hear dragging when I was taking watch, and that was before what it says came up. Oh, yes, that makes sense. No, that that does make sense. Um, the the house is haunted. Just in case you weren't aware. And uh, we have already managed to deal. If you've been investigated in the rest of the house, you've no doubt come across our escapades. We've already yeah, dealt I've seen with... some zombies and some hands, and uh, that was what you're things. doing. We've already dealt with several creatures of the undead persuasion, so don't try anything. Excuse me, just gonna sneak by. Okay, there you go. What? Hello. What would I try? Nothing. You don't need to. I'm just letting you know. Excuse me. All right. Do you mind if I tag along with you guys while we figure out what's going on? 
going to look to his companions. He seems nice. It makes sense for us still breathing to stick together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lara wants to check out the bathtub because Solom was pretty injured. Um, I want to see if there is like a trail or anything I can follow. I was going to say, if you mean pretty injured, you mean dead. <laughs> yeah, like the bloodied. Form yourself. He would have been bloodied. <laughs> right. There, you, I get there would be a trail if you he think was You're trying to find a trail. Yeah. Yeah. But wasn't he drained? Not like... Oh, the stuff. wraith, yeah. yeah. Just to yeah. be clear, the wraith was... Um, life drain. So basically he, he looked just like a husk. There wasn't much blood, but even still... But if he was being dragged, you'd yes, have there's like a lot of marks. Blood. There's yeah. lots of things, right? And so, you can give me a uh, investigation or a uh, survival if you want to uh, try and figure that out. Would you like some help? Sure. Not gonna help. You roll as well. Yeah. Help, helping her when. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this barbarian? <laughs> I told you, he's Sherlock Holmes, man. What the fuck? No, no, Bald no, no, and no, 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 no. Int Bob. <laughs> Int Bob. <laughs> See, that's the best thing about rolling stats. You get fun stuff like this. Okay. Um, yeah, Talon, uh, someone has been dragged through here very recently, but it was pretty, pretty fucking covered up, to be honest with you. Um, and what you notice is that it stops right over here against this wall. Uh, and with the 25, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Obviously, it's a... That's it. This actually, you can push the wall open spot. I knock on the wall. Knock, 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 knock. And then does it just slide open then? <laughs> yes, it does slide open. However... Val, that come on, you're holding that. Oh. <laughs> Val, come on. I'll need some initiatives as the statue <laughs> next to y'all. Comes uh -oh. to life. You're, yeah, you guys are good where you're at, so I'm a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's Love just Val, come on. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you guys can see that, right? On the oh, uh, yeah. turn order, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Each 17. The 5, right? Oh, no. Um, what was that, Sammy? It's fine. I'm fairly positive I won't get one shot this time. You said it's each movement, uh, 5. Yes, yep, weird, 5. Each. Weird yep, each weird. Square, yep. Uh, okay, yeah. As it, like, freaks itself alive, um... Let's see what I can do. I'm gonna do five feet. So yeah, uh, Melly, then Alara. It's gonna try and slam into you guys. Okay. One. Miss. That was, and then this one's to you, Alara. Fuck. Fucking hell. It'll grab you by the shoulder and just like boom, headbutt you like hard as. It's got a goddamn helmet. Well, I, actually, that picture doesn't. But let's say it does have a helmet. Mm -hmm. Cracked her right over the fucking skull with it. And then um, I'm gonna give. Fox a little bit of PTSD because this door is going to open up here. <laughs> this, is, this is a good time. Is the fucking broom. A broom and a broom's going to fly out. The fucking broom. And it's going to try to attack um, Talon. Never whisper rolls. Thank you. It's going to. Oof. Oh, it's going to miss with the second First one. First one hits, second one doesn't. Yeah. Boom, it's going to clock you over the head. Um, just like a mace, basically, and uh, that'll be their turn. Did I close the turn order? What happened there? No, minimized. There we go. And, uh, yeah, these things uh, looking like they're trying to kill you. This is not the old Beauty and the Beast song type. This is... I mean, Fox has got experience with that. I knocked her fucking wizard out with that brew. <laughs> <laughs> Me and this broom finna have words. <laughs> I, uh, mm -hmm. I may or may not have done my spells on D&D Beyond and not added my new spell on my sheet. Give me two seconds. Really oh, no. How fucking dare you? Um, I'm taking fairy fire, but I did mean to ask, is uh, hideous laughter off limits? No, Tasha's hideous laughter you can use. Okay. I think that's a normal book, isn't it? 
Um, yeah, but I think it was the specifically fuck Tasha. Yeah, fuck Tasha's <laughs> in the room. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> I was just, just like, well, yeah, there we go. Fuck the new Tasha stuff, yeah. Cool. Well, I've taken a different that spell for good. now. Um, yeah. Which that is... So the the cube is going to be situated to target the things that are attacking my companions. Um, okay. Well, they got to do make a deck save. Um, deck save. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. Not crazy All right. at the moment, guys. Sorry. Um, what is it that they just have disadvantage? Or uh, we get attack advantage. roll. Okay, yeah, yeah. and it, it can't go invisible. Oh, yeah. Okay, that ain't gonna be a problem. <laughs> I will fail, and the broom might have a little bit better deck. So I'm not sure. Let's check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will pass. At least the armor's uh, covered. Um, and I don't think I've got a bonus action. I do let me check. Outside of Bardic Inspiration, I don't know. I, mean, I didn't mean to. Well, that's an action. Yeah, no. Um, is Bardic Inspiration now? I think it is. I don't know. Can some classes oh, is, not use it, it in combat is my only thing. It is a bonus action. Um, I always do, so I assumed you can. Yeah, cool. Um, then I'm just going to put, put put it on the closest person. So, uh, Melly, you, you get a D6 Bardic. Yay, thank you. Staying where you're at? Your border uh, is pink. I'm going to use that as my marker. Um, Boop. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. I'm going to just step around the corner. Okay. Because, yep. Hmm. Alara, you're in a bit of a spot right now. We do not have shift in this. And ranged attacks at this point would be a disadvantage. Yep. But you can take an action to disengage, can't you? You go, absolutely. <laughs> I would like to take the action to disengage. <laughs> yep, that's probably the smartest play. So. <laughs> to, to shimmy my ass up here. Okay. Um, but before I kind of. That's as far as I can get anyway. But I'm going to use my bonus action to hunt as mark them. I don't know why that rolled a thing. Did okay. it roll at a higher level? No, it don't matter. We'll, we could just take no, the top. I don't know why I did that because you just mark it and um, you deal an extra 1d6 when you hit it with a yeah. weapon attack and you I put it on the advantage on perception or survival checks to find it. Yeah. So Are you putting it on the armor or the uh, broom? The armor. Okay. This poor guy. That, that's what I got. All right. I'm gonna try and fix this spell well. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Belly, you are up. Hi. Stepping in to block this thing from moving closer to the people I already know. Real quick though, Valder, what color is this thing shited now that you've fairy marked it? A pink, of course. Why, okay, why, yep. What else? Vibrant hue. Anything yep. else? You can barely see the rust. Hmm. Although you can't see the blood for Valara's head. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and swing. Okay, cool. That'll hit. Almost max. Nice. Hmm. This me. Alrighty. Um. Talon. I am going to look at this broom like what the fuck, and then hit it with my crowbar. <laughs> okay. Or not. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to rage yet. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a very much a bummer. All right. And no rage? I'm going to bonus action rage now, yeah. Okay. 
Might as well. All right. Uh, and you're good where you're at? Yep. Okay. Their turns now. Mm. Melly, the armor is going to try to slam into you a couple of times. Wow. Oh, look out. Free damage. Free damage coming through. Yay! It's got so many debuffs on it. Can't fucking. Like two damage. Yeah. Um, She's just. Good job! The stick's going to fly up a little bit and try and crack you in the noggin there, Talon, twice. Owie. Yeah. Second one doesn't <laughs> hit. The broom's doing the work here. <laughs> this thing's dangerous. Uh, yeah, but you take half, so uh, we round up. So, four. Cool. And that's that. Valmir. Uh, he's gonna look at uh, Lara over there. Man. <coughs> oh my! It looks like that whatever it was seemed to have a word for you and cast healing word. But it's word. Yeah, yeah. Lara's yeah. just gonna deadpan him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what you get. Don't appreciate it. Crappy roll. I was a crappy roll. Oh yeah, I guess it ain't bad. It's about half. The Hades. Yeah, the sheet and the tokens not, not are not connected. <laughs> um, I mean that's bonus action. Yep. Uh, I'm, that, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good for now. I don't want to come out and get, get spanked. But I don't want to break concentration on the, the fairy fire, so I'm good. All right. Alara. Alara's going to aim her crossbow at the armor. Good dokie. Wow. Well, 16? Yeah, you got advantage. Yeah, yeah. 16 is the number. Yeah. So, 7. Okay. Anything else on your turn? Um, I'm going to scoot around the corner out of sight for a second. Um, yep. Okay. Melly. Hi, same song and dance. Smack it once. <laughs> All right. Or not. No, not with an 11. That's fine, uh, that's me. You do have the Bardic Inspiration. It's up to you. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot I had that. I don't think 13's gonna do it. Ah, uh, no, number is 16, so... All sec, okay. Nice try. It's all right. She's doing what she can. Yep, She's just right. doing her best. Talon. Uh, this crowbar fucking again. crowbar is gonna hit this armored guy now. I'm like, well, I'll deal with the broom in a little bit. Whatever. He, he made me mad, but that, that's all I got going on. Hey. Alright. I called it 1d6. I figured that was moderately okay. Boom. Um, with your tavern master thing or whatever? Yeah. Yep. That's fine. Uh, you will get two extra dammy for uh, rage, too. And then I do want to grapple it as well, just for funsies. I think grapple, you have to do it. It's a right bonus now. action as my tavern brawler. Oh, okay. Um, let me see. It might not. Turned. Okay, yeah. You can try. It will be a bloody. Let me do the number real quick. Yeah. Uh, so it'll just be athletics via athletics. Well, I just, I just roll strength, but... Oh, you're raging, so you have advantage. But alas, it is not grappled. Nice Try making use of the bonus action at the very least. And that's all yeah. I got going on. All right, back to them. I'm just, I mean, I don't see no reason to stop. So, Melly's two slams coming your way. Seven. No. 
That one hits, yeah. Throwing out fists. And the broom. Again, going for the bob. Oh. I'm telling you, this fucking broom. This is sleeper broom right here. Um, four. <laughs> Racks you over the fucking skull. Again. How dare you turn your back on it. Valmir. Fixing to take another long rest after this. Um, <laughs> yeah, no shit. Oh, that damn. Was fast. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to pick my nose around the corner and be like, oh, not again. Why? Why? I'm going to scoot round. I'm going to try and stab the armor. Okay. With Give my, it a go. Uh, Fancy. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. No, I changed that. Sorry. I take that back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek my head around the corner, and you know what? I'm gonna do this to the broom. No. Okay. Save. Um, save or not, oh. you will note that it takes no damage from your attack. Okay. That being said, if it fails, it will still have to fly away. Oh. <laughs> All right, uh, Talon, you can take an opportunity attack as the broom flies. It's you hear a crash as it shatters the window. Minus three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 13's the number. Right. I'm plus two, so eight. Oh, yep. Well. Flying out now. Anything else, Valmer? Uh, no, I'm... Um, I'm happy with that. Thank you. Okay. Alara. Alara's gonna scurry. Just past her. Velmir and uh, he'll feel it almost like the crossbow almost prop against his shoulder <laughs> to steady it <laughs> as she shoots at the armor. Bud? Oh, oh bummer. Wow. Bummer, man. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> well, it misses. There we go. Yep. Alright. <sighs> Melly. I can only really do one thing right now. Hiya! Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can hit I do nine. I one thing very well. <laughs> do nine, he's dead. Oh. Woo! <laughs> just crumples under its own weight and just falls defeated. Alara will nod at Melly. She's like not a, a facing proud, you. Like a proud, stern face. She <laughs> will see it. She's not facing you. <laughs> When she turns. Yeah. She like squats down and is like putting a hand on the armor like, I'm sorry, but you kind of started it. <laughs> um, the broom is still in play, so. Okay. Uh, it's up to you guys. I will just have it fly the fuck away if you don't, if you don't care. But at the same time, it bopped Kevin a couple times, so maybe he wants to kill it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go after it. Um, okay. I don't want to get hit <laughs> Okay. I'm raging, like, so... Like, how far out the window? <laughs> Yeet. Like, how yeah, far has it gotten? It, it only had to go 30 feet, so it's just, like, right outside the window. But once it sees you guys, it's gonna fucking come back and scrap. Oh, God. Alright, that's as far as I could go. In one turn. Did you want to move, Millie? Uh... Yeah, sure. Five, six. Yes, three, it's a great turn. Okay. Um, you already moved, Talon. I don't know if you have anything yep. you can throw. But... I don't. All right, excellent. Well, it's fucking I'm not throwing my crowbar. In. Yeah, it's coming in like just straight up like a spear, trying to crush your sternum, bro. Coming at you hard. 
Zoom. Remember, you could have let this dude flee. That's fine. It'll take another three right into right. the gut. Yeah, he was going to definitely haunt you later, though. I would have definitely... I had. I was already thinking stuff in my mind, like how I was going to have him come back into play. But it's not good. Valmir. Well, uh, seeing that my other psychic damage attack did nothing, and I've already burned all my spell slots, uh, <laughs> I'm going to... Well, I can't move that far, so I'm gonna move to um I'll move to the doorway and I will give I mean seeing Melly just destroy that suit is, is kind of inspiring, <laughs> so yeah, you can have another one. Oh yay. I'll just leave the pink dot on then because I forgot to take it off. That, that me. Okay. Alara. You might think this thing would be harder to hit, but it's easier, so <laughs> you um, might Oh, can you move your uh Can you do that at level one? Level one spell? Move the yep. hunter's mark? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's concentration for an hour, so I oh, can move it. Once... Hour? Jesus. Yep, okay. Once the thing hits to zero. So I'm gonna use my bonus action to move my mark onto this uh vicious little room vicious uh, cleaning utensil and uh, try and shoot with crossbow. Uh, you are not having much luck, unfortunately. No. Ah, no, that's all I got. Alright. Melly? Perhaps vengeance shall be yours? We'll see. I kind of <laughs> hope so. Scoots up just, hi, sorry, gotta get close to hit this thing. Thank you. <laughs> That's the number, so you're good. Oh, yay. Beep. Kaboom. What? We'll crack it in half, basically. The magic flows out of it. And it's now just oh. a normal broom. That was a lot easier. I immediately pick it up and smash it into the wall a couple of times. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Turned it turned it into ash. Mmm. Dust. Good fight, guys. Good job. That Cut. is something. Okay. Well, that's no fun straight away. Fine. It's fine. Well, that's all your can... stuff burned. <laughs> yeah. Um, was there anything else in the in the cupboard? Oh, that was a good question. We didn't actually look in there. What is that? Fourteen. Um. A few shelves have folded sheets, blankets, and old bars of soap on them. Some soap. And then basically it's all cleaning utensils from there. Normal brooms and feather dusters and all that stuff. Mm. And... I don't think we actually had time to check out this room as well, so I'm just going to take a little bit of time while I'm assuming we might short rest <laughs> investigating this room. That would be good for people's health. Yeah, it's up to you guys what you want to do. I'm checking out the armor with my investigation, <laughs> by the way. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, this was... Uh... Not a living suit, more like someone imbued it, like to be animated. Like it's just normal rusted decorative armor. Um, probably you saw some more on the way up, right? Similar to that. It's just this one had magic on it for whatever. And safe to assume when you hit the door, that triggered it. Whatever happened there. So, but uh, weapon-wise, armor-wise, nothing, nothing usable. It's all scrap. All right. Uh, do you guys want you want to check out this room? Yes, please. Uh, Fifteen. Let me see. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, if you want to check out the room, you can give me ye old investigation. Uh, the spear is still holding up the door, obviously. I'll be telling Talon not to take that off the door. <laughs> yeah, I look at it and say, uh, "What's with the spear?" 
Um, Did I know what those creatures were? No, it's only Alaria that knows, right? Uh, okay, Alara, I think with your background, you would have at least heard of Sturges before. I will tell him that there's two Sturges in there, and I would not recommend it. Here, I'll, I'll bring them out here so you guys can see what they look like. Like, our level? They're horrendous. Yeah, here. Even see. more so Ooh. level one, but yeah. Yeah, these motherfuckers. And, and what they do is they get on you. And then once they're on you, they don't have to make an attack. They just automatically it hits you. So, in you. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, cool. at level one, that would have been brutal. Level two, they're pretty savage too. But yeah, um, they're oh, like mosquitoes. Bats, so. Yeah, bat mosquitoes basically. Uh, okay, what do we got for investigations? Uh, Melly, are you looking around or are you just chilling? No, I'm kind of just hanging out at the moment. All right. Well, we'll go from top to bottom. Uh. Actually, we'll talk, uh, Talon, we'll start with I mean, with I can. It's not going to be great. Well, it's up to you. Uh, bad. Well, okay. It was the worst out of the group. <laughs> it's not bad. Nope. Uh, you two, Talon, Belly, right next to Alara, actually. So, Alara, since you got high, you'll uh, you'll see it as well. Uh, the Basically, there's a secret door on this side, too, that lead, like, it leads to the same room that Talon opened up earlier. Uh, Alara, uh, you guys, and all you gotta do to open it is push it, but I mean, it's up to you guys. Uh, Alara, you notice over here that there is a red vial of liquid, some might call a potion. Valmir, loose board in the corner. There's what, sorry? Loose board. Oh, nice. Now I'm gonna straight up pry that. Uh, in fact, my new friend, you said your name was um, something or other. I didn't suppose I could uh, make use of your profile for a moment. You sure can. Here you go. Thank you. I'm gonna pry it up. All right. Uh, inside there, like something's basically folded up. Uh, in some cloth. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to open it up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, inside, there is a silver locket with a red gem, basically on the in the center on the outside. Uh, you open it up, uh, and there is a picture, assumedly of the servant woman uh, with her baby. Uh, and on top of that, there is a uh, scroll tube in there. Uh, well, I'll hand uh, Talon his crowbar back and have a look in the scroll tube. Excellent. Funny that you took fairy fire, because uh, it's fairy fire. Yeah. <laughs> Free fairy fire, yeah. Uh, Alara, the potion, I mean, out of character, you know what it is. In character, you can give me a history or an arcana check. Yeah, you're just having a good old time. Um, I mean, there's a lot of potions in the world. You know it's a potion, but you're not exactly sure what type of potion it is. I'll get someone to look at it later. Uh, sure. Maybe I'll look at it again after I've rested, because I just had the shit smacked out of me. That's fair. Do you guys want to short rest? I could use it just for the sake of <laughs> Do healing. Do I want to? No. Do I need it? Yes. <laughs> Uh, my question yeah. is where, if you're if you're doing it. You're probably back in that same room. Yeah, that's fine. I was just saying, you know, I wanted to make... It's like you guys were trying it here, or are we going to move back to the other room? That's fine, too. A uh, short rest won't really require any type of perception check. Um, you guys can roll. Do we need uh, do we have... Does... Do you got Song of we Rest need a yet? snack. Zang. Oh, you guys, yeah, also you should all remove one ration for your long rest. Not you, Talon, because you didn't have your long rest yet, but... Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I already removed that for long okay. rest. Uh, how many did we actually start with? Because I never marked that. <laughs> I had 11. But yeah, but you, took, you took, like, all eight that were downstairs. Uh, there's you, you all started with three. Three rations. Okay. 
so. I didn't have that on too much of the eye, that thing. Yeah, I had to, I needed to ask about that this time because I didn't have it. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll pay, play my, uh, my pipes or my flute, whatever it was, I can't remember. Flute. Pan flute, yep. Um, so whenever you spend a hit die to recover hit points, you can roll an extra d6. Oh. Oh. Cool. I think you can only do it once, though. That's what Lime told me, anyways. Is that for everyone? Or just Doesn't say. Me. Yeah, it's for everybody. It's for the group. Yep. Cool. I'm at full health. Yeah, mine's hit full before this song. So. Oopsie. Nice roll. Um, while you all are resting and Valmy, you're uh, playing your pipes, um, why don't y'all, before, before the rest ends, give me uh, perception checks. Yes, yes, yes. I love Song of Rest. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Yay! ADD, new friend. Uh, Alara, <laughs> you're, you're pretty sure up above you, you can hear a couple of uh, different sets of footsteps. Uh, moving back and forth in some sort of like oh, almost like childish giggling uh, up above you. Only lasts like about ten minutes, but I'm gonna tell mostly um, Valmia and Melly the first children about. Hmm. What? Upstairs, there's children's footprints, run footsteps running about. Oh. Maybe the other kids that got seen earlier? I'm so aroused by my music. Ah, uh, I should control myself. Give me a performance Maybe check. Happy. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. But, uh, um, you want me to play my, like my, just use my tools? Yeah, you can do performance or you can do the pan flute. I don't care. Either way. It's the same I don't know what you're saying. Same difference. Yeah, I think it's the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not your best work, but. It's, I mean, they, they obviously haven't heard song for a while. It's fine. Yep. I mean, it's still 14. Pretty fucking good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. You all be able to short rest, play your flutes. No interruptions, no if anything it's like over that. Now, my uh, things definitely will not. Yeah. Oh, uh, the hunter's mark. Yep, yep. You can also reinvestigate your potion or re arcana history check it if you'd like. Can't get it here. Someone else is going to have to figure it out. Eleven. Okay, there you go. Yep, it's a health potion, a common two d four plus two drinky potion. That you got to use a main action to do, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's how I leave my game. That's how we do it here. So, um, but yes, you have one minor yeah. health potion. I'm just, I'm just writing that down. Two D four plus two, so I don't forget. Yep. Added in bio with it. Yep. I do. I, uh, I normally remember those ones. Beyond that, I don't. So. Yeah, it gets a little. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's really only one way to go, unless you're heading back downstairs, and it's where uh, old Valmir's heading right now. Going up. Melly, you coming? Hmm, what? Sorry. Uh, where's everybody? In the wall. Okay, okay. In the wall. In the wall, right, sorry. Oh, hey. That's interesting. How'd you get over there? Where? Sammy clicked the stairs and ended up over in a room that's not even the stairs. That's. Oh, uh, I'm still here. Oh, weird. Okay. For some reason on my screen, you were over on the other, uh, yeah, okay. Let me, uh, hang on. I'm gonna put you back down here so I can paste you better. Oh my god. Keep clicking the doors. Well, stop. Can't. 
<laughs> I can't click anything. Game, please. Oh God, where are we? All right, hang on, let me refresh. Uh, inspiration will have fallen off, by the way. Head back to open. Okay, because I have no clue where I am. <laughs> I can't. We are and an intermittent mission, apparently. No. I think I put you guys on the wrong layer. That's what happened. Yep. My bad. She is black. All right. Get you guys back out here real quick. Oh. And then put you over here. The lights turned back on. I can see. Yes. Should be able to see over here. Yes. Oh, That's where we want to be. What door did we come out of? Right over here. I'm about to open it for you. Right behind you. Okay. There you nice. go. Right. Let me take my little pink dot. Boop. Gone. Uh, yep. You guys descend into what is obviously the attic. Uh, in this first room... You, it's nothing but dust, man. Just a bunch of doors. Um, Any the one. Footprints from what I was listening to. Oh, footprints. Uh, I mean, give me investigation or survival check. See if you see anything on the floor. If they're undead, I'd have advantage. Okay. Doesn't look like. Because I'm pretty sure they're ghosts. <laughs> Doesn't you don't see any uh, footsteps or anything obvious that anything's been through here recently? Hmm. I don't like it. Though if you were orienting yourself, mm, not quite, not quite the right room. Hmm. The one you're uh, in front of there, Talon, uh, does appear to have a padlock on it. It's on my side, so I knock on the door to see if anybody's on the other side. Okay. Uh, you do not get any response. Uh, would you guys like me to try to bust this padlock off the door, or...? Um. Or do we want to check the other doors first? I see there's a, a couple more. Hmm. Maybe coming to this one last would be better? As usually something like this is meant to get something in, not way round. Perhaps we should look at the other options, although in fairness, if we're dealing with the undead, I'm pretty sure that the, the lady that we dealt with just before just came through the floor or appeared from nowhere, so who knows? Yes, let's check the other doors, I think is wise. Okay. I move over to this door and knock on this one. I'm right behind you, and also by the other door. Uh, no response. I'm watching their backs. Alright, I open the door. Wander in a little bit. Okay, let me see where we're at. Uh, okay, so you walk in. And what you see is what you get. This would appear to be some sort of extra room. It's got a wood burner. There's a cabinet, a shelf thing, but it's empty. Um, just bed and a rocking chair, really. Nothing nothing stands out. Uh, there's nothing in that one. It's just a, a extra bedroom. Oh, okay. Um... Anything good. What would you consider good? Uh, nothing that I could see. I didn't really look around too much, though. What do we got down here? Yes, yeah, so this one it would appear to be an old storage room for furniture. That's what all these uh, cloths are. A bunch of different furniture. Uh, there is another wood stove over in the corner there. Uh, however, in the... This one right over here mm -hmm. looks to be a chest under that cloth, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, of course. Um, it kind of looks like there's something in here. Maybe like a chest or a box or something. The 
This looks like the room where that broom might have came from. Uh, let, let's not... Okay, if you want to. I walk into the room. I, I mean, over here, it just it looks like it might be a box. I would... Would we say that I would know what a mimic is in this world? Probably. <laughs> you roll me a history check. Yeah, I mean, you know of mimics. I doubt you. If you've ever come across one, you probably would have been dead. So, uh, you have read about them, but yes. Not, uh, not seen one. I totally forgot to pick up those bolts earlier. Can I break the arm off this chair in this room up here? And then come back down and throw it at the chest? Yeah, sure. Uh, Lara, you can, right. you can pick your bolts up if you want. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, you, you just chuck it over there. Just clank against the chest. That's it. Nothing moved, guys. Do you want me to, uh, to pull the, the cloth back, or...? Why would anything have moved? Must be safe. Of course. Go, go check it out. Be my guest. Alright. If it's locked. I grab yeah. the, like, bottom corner that I'm closest to and yank the... the sheet off of it. <clears throat> yeah, just a large wooden chest underneath. It's not locked. I go ahead and open it. Alright. Uh, you open it up. And on the inside, there are some skeletal remains that appear to be clutching a key. Oh. I let the group know, hey, uh, it's just some skeletons. There's there's a key. Uh, maybe it's to the padlock out there. We don't even have to break it. <laughs> how, how big did the room? Uh, sorry. Uh, the, the remain. They adult? Yes. Any oh. more details than that, you can give a medicine check if you want to try and figure out beyond that. But it is an adult-sized body, yes. I like your logic, friend. Let us... Let us utilize your newfound key. I reach in and grab the key. Yep, you got a key. I wander out here. We still have one more door. I do point out the door down here. If we want to check that one out first, that's fine. Maybe the big one should go first. I'm better at ranging. Oh, is it because I'm new? (laughs) No, it's because you're large and look like you can take a hit. Ah, uh, okay, you, you win. Appear to be another room. Though, this room would appear to have been lived in at some point. Uh, there is a candle that w- uh, looks to be recently lit, because it's still going. Uh, and in the corner, there is a smiling doll in a uh, lacy yellow dress. Uh, and cobwebs are draping over it like a wedding veil. Like that. Outside of that, it's just kind of another broom. Wood stove. Clothes. Say, uh, Melly, looks like there's a toy in here for you. It was Melly, right? <laughs> hmm? What? Me? Huh? Uh, there's a toy over here in the corner for you if you wanted wanted something to play with. No. Other than that, Respe- there's nothing else in this room. Uh, respectfully, I'm not quite as young as I look. <laughs> I or was so. more than looks. It was also your actions, but but okay, if you say so. I'm 19. Leave me alone. Oh, sorry, that was rude. People have a habit of kind of judging, so sorry. I just put my hands up like a no judgment for me. <laughs> yes, there is a doll. Yeah, so I'll, take, kind I'll of, take a look at it, I guess. 
a little creepy, creepy doll. How are you taking a look? You picking it up and checking it out? I'm going to have a look at it from a distance because. Okay. I yep. don't want to go. So you pick it up and ah, I'm going to need a wisdom save first off. Oh, yay. Oh, Johnny, like it's me. You know how wonderful those are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're my favorite. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so you will pick up the doll. And you will look it over. Uh, it's just a children's toy. Covered in cobwebs. Nice. Perfect. Yep. I nice. mean... Just a doll. However, you really got to bring it with you. You really do. Perhaps the bald one was correct. It's like, I need comfort right now. Mm -hmm. Yep, sure. Yep. I mean, it's. Bald a toy for you. Doll. All right. Yeah. It's just a doll, but it. I, I can bring it along just in case. I already left the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm explaining with the rest of them. <laughs> you can have the doll. Yep. Add it to your inventory. Just a random tattered yellow doll dress. Dress <laughs> what? Word. Uh, Bob is going to be like, I'm very um, impressed, you know. You seem to have changed your tune somewhat with the acquisition of things here. Uh, I suppose now that we know that the owners are dis you should check permission Alara if you allowed to have her doll. She actually stops for a second. She's like, wait a minute. I did just take this. <laughs> mm-hmm. You did. Um, no guilt, no nothing. It just feels right. I try the key on the lock on this padlock while everybody else is discussing whatever's going on. I'm just behind you. For whatever reason, this doesn't feel the same. This doesn't feel like stealing. Good thing. Mm. I like her. It, it will fit the uh, the lock. You can open the door if you want. Or to do. Excellent. Uh, well, very clearly a children's room. Hang on a second. Uh, this room contains a bricked up window flanked by two dusty wood frame bed sized for children. Uh, close to the door is a toy chest with windmills painted onto its size and a doll house. That's a perfect replica of the dreary edifice in which you stand. It's a it's the house. These furnishings are draped in cobwebs. Lined in the middle of the floor are two small skeletons wearing tattered but familiar clothing. Looks like the clothes in the painting. Um, the smaller of the two cradles, a stuffed doll that you also recognize. Looks very similar to the one that uh, you have, except it has a red uh, dress. Oh. Millie. Oh, my God. oh it's companion. Uh, do you want that one, too? The, that's up to you, Millie. How, no feeling one way or another. No, you, tell you. you said there was... Two small skeletons in here? Yep, right there. One's clutching a doll. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a sad. Can I investigate this like house? Idea. Like the replica? For sure. Yep, to see if there's any type of rooms or anything that we may have missed. Hey, you know what it's there for? There you go. Go ahead. You can have an investigation check or whatever. Investigation or yeah, that works. Um, anybody else Bob, want to do anything in here? Bob. Um, so there's a chest. Yes. In here. A toy chest, yes. Over here. I'm gonna look at the board, like bricked up window, and be like, "Who could do this to children?" I would assume people who deserve their fate. Unlike these. Un you 
You looking in the chest there, yes, Valmir? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Millie, what are you doing? Is the urge to keep this doll with me still here, or can I, like, mentally be like, oh, okay, this ch this skeleton has a doll. I need to, like, put give this doll back. Um... Like, to put it with the companion doll in the Oh, I bed. see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be not not currently or anything like that. Um, the urge to be like, no, this is mine is not there not right now. Not right now, no. Okay. She'll set the doll down with the the red one. Like, put them back together. Okay, excellent. Um, and Valmy, you are opening the chest? Yep. Okay. You'll open the chest. Like uh, you, would, you... you would trap a toy chest, right? <laughs> <laughs> so who would lock children inside of a bricked up room right, right. and starve to death, you know? Like, I don't know, so... Uh, and lo and behold, as we'll just say that the doll is put down at the same time the chest is open, at the same time that uh, Talon is checking out the house and all that, Talon, you will notice one thing, uh, a secret staircase that actually Alara has been trying to track the whole freaking time, the entrance up here. Um, that's the thing that you notice, and it actually leads to underneath the house. Uh, Valmir, you open up the chest, and there are a ton of toys in there, and then Melly, you put down dial next to the other one and as you two do that two ghost children will appear Ooh. they will smile in your direction uh melly and valmir but real quick like why don't we all go ahead and take a little break use the restroom grab a drink mm -hmm. come back and we can talk to the ghost children which is always Position. a fun time right? yeah Potentially. All right. I'm so ready. Come back and now there's ghost children, what?
I'm I'm back. Uh, hello, back. Tyler. Um, glad to glad to hear it. We we stream technically about to be four days a week now, or soon. Yeah, currently Friday, Saturdays. Yeah, I was thinking about that. That's a lot of D and D, ain't it? <laughs> right. Four day and day, four days. Well, one's not D and D, but yeah. Nope. Uh, we can say what it is. It hasn't been officially announced yet, so you guys can have some spoilers if you want. I'm gonna take the the deafening silence as a yes. We we're gonna be playing werewolf on Tuesdays. I don't know the actual like. What's it fully called? What's the full it's title? Like? Werewolf the Forsaken, second edition. Okay. That's World of Darkness stuff. It is World of Darkness. I think it's New World of Darkness or Nward. It's sometimes known. But yeah, the that's the the Tuesday game. Um, I don't think we're starting it this week. Maybe next week. We haven't got an official start date, but we have got the prep stuff being done. Um, and then Friday, Saturday, Sundays, D and D. Yep, yep. I always look forward to trying new systems. Some of them are garbage, like that's just the reality, but I still don't mind trying them. Like that Star Wars one, man, what a fucking mess. Like I could not get my head behind it. I don't like the mm. the one that's got the weird dice. Yeah, the stuff. Yeah, I can't remember what it was called. The one we tried to run. I tried to run it. Yeah. Like, I'd love to run yeah. something Star Wars, but man. It's like Galaxy's Edge or something. Yeah. 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 Like a roll the roll twenty version that everyone tells me about is like that's the one that we'd end up running because like if it's just straight up roll 20 20 yeah and that that system's real easy we can all do that so d20s make sense mm-hmm like the dice made sense but it was like you had to i don't remember it was like a bonus or a negative or something and then you had to like role play every single one of them it's like dude you could get like six or seven of these in a turn yeah, right. like this, this is crazy yeah there used to be um before that, I think it was just D6 system, like a bit like um, the Marvel oh, one. Oh, Sh Shadow, Shadow. Oh, Shadow Run. I think Shadow Run was that, the Shadow Run is basically like um, sci-fi D and D. Essentially, is, is what happened. But it's like you eventually just end up in a bathtub of D6s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like forty of them. Quite a cool setting, though. Like, essentially, um, it, it's like a very modern, uh, I say Earth, very modern Earth. And I can't remember what happened, but there was some incident happened that people started to mutate into fantasy races. So it was like they genetically regressed into, like, some people became half orcs, some people became dwarves, some people became elves, like that kind of stuff. Um, it's like whatever incident hey, happened kind of tapped into their their long lost past genetics so cool imagine being like a normal 6'2 human being like yo you transformed into a 3 foot hobbit Grants, bro. <laughs> yep. it's like dude what the fuck? Suddenly <laughs> I didn't do gnomes. anything yeah, <laughs> yeah I heard no yeah. it's not fair uh, oh, isn't that the heart the critical role one mm -hmm. yep They've done another one as well, haven't they? Like the Candelabra Obscura or something? It's... Candela Obscura. Ah. Yep. They look interesting. I mean, those guys also know what they're doing, right? So oh, the, mm -hmm. systems, the systems could be fun. I'm here. Alan, you back? Yeah, I'm also here. Alright. Well. Let's get back into it, shall we? So. Um, you reunite the dolls. You open up the treasure chest. Um, and uh, Talon, yeah, you, you realize there's a secret door that leads down into the basement. Um, the children basically... Um, the one that appears in front of you, Melly, is a young girl. And she will wave at you and say hello. Um, and she'll be like, thanks. You're mm, the third. The third one to do it. Good job. Uh, oh, 
Okay. Well, you're welcome. And thank you? <laughs> mm-hmm. The kid is kind of mean mugging you there, um, Valmir, as you're looking in his toy chest, like... Mm. <laughs> like, hey there, bud. <laughs> What's what you looking for? You, you got some very interesting looking things in here. I know, I like them. They're my toys. Oh, Dad got them for me. I wasn't going to take any of them. Look, last chest we found had something rather disturbing, and I didn't want to leave you with something disturbing in yours. As I'm kind of blank. Through. I'm assuming mm -hmm. there's nothing sinister in here. I mean, are you actually, do you want to rifle through it? Or? Yeah, I'm having a quick, quick look through it as I'm talking. All right, why don't you give me an investigation then? Okay. Oh, well, fuck. There's a plus one nothing... on that, but you know, never mind. <laughs> it's, yeah, nothing sinister. Um, something. I'll just go ahead and say, for whatever reason, you know this. I mean, you started with magic, so it's safe to say. Um, there's actually something quite valuable in here. A small, size of a marble, kind of brittle gem that you know, if you crack, will restore a level one spell slot. So I'll, I'll pick that up and, and show it to the the, the kid. Is this yours? He'll nod and be like, yep, that's my treasure. Oh. Well. Do you think that perhaps if I were to, I don't know, play you a little song or something, that then I could take this as my fee? You can see he's kind of trying to process it, and he looks over to uh, the young girl there, who's clearly the older of the two, I should say. And uh, she kind of smiles, and she says, uh, We'd love to hear a song. Uh, we heard one earlier. Was That must have been you, then. Oh, it was. It was. I'm glad that it touched you. It wasn't the best, but it was good. <clears throat> yes. Um, but y if you want the gem, um, we, we have something else that we would like for you to do. But if you want to play for us, that, I would, uh, that'd be great. Oh, I'd be delighted to play a tune for you. Here, whip his pipes out. This is okay. not my first choice of instrument, you must understand, but, uh, oh, yes. Oh, you can't shove your granny. Listen, it's average, okay? I just want to be clear. It's... Yeah. The the young boy will cross his arms and be like, I'm not paying you for that. Uh. <laughs> About that other matter that we could do instead. Yeah, okay, sure. Um. So, uh, and she's going to look over at the large barbarian and be like, uh, I think he already found it, but uh, you, and she's going to, he's actually, she's going to point over to you, Alara, and be like, and you are getting close too. But there's a, a secret stairway, uh, and the entrance is up here. It's back in over in the room where the uh, the furniture was, and it leads all the way to the basement. And um, well, what we would like for you to do, because we can't actually go there ourselves, Dad wouldn't let us. Uh, could you? And she kind of points to the skeletons on the floor. Uh, could you bring us? down there so that we can rest or so our family tomb is oh sweethearts and of the course. family tomb, did you say family tomb <laughs> yep oh. Melly immediately just oh babies of course and is like grabbing the sheets off the bed to start yeah. wrapping the remains up i'm gonna help Melly. <laughs> it's wrapping their remains with and the toys. i hold up in my backpack <laughs> i'm gonna make sure their dolls go with them Yes, okay. absolutely. Yep. The dolls have to go along. Seeing them do oh, that, good. I'll turn to the boy and be like, is there anything out of here that you particularly want to take with you? He's going to point to a tiger. Cool. As I'm, uh, like, reaching in to get I'm going to pocket the gem. Okay, sure. Um, It is brittle enough that you just have to... <laughs> put pressure on it. Like, if you fall, it's not going to break, but you know what I'm saying. Level you one put, it will, return, yeah? Yes, that's all. It's, um, 
I think I gave it spell gem, spell stone. I think those are actually normally just spells, but we'll use them as uh, spell restorers in this. Yeah. They will have various levels. This one is a level one. Main action, you use it, you get a level one spell back. And uh, as you guys are basically uh, getting the bodies back, uh, the, the young girl's going to be like, Oh, I'm Rose, by the way, and this is my brother, Thorn. Well, you're named after a flower, too. She nods. <laughs> What's your name? Camellia. It's um, a flower that only grows in, like, around Hartsvale, where the snows are. It's a snow flower, basically. She kind of blink and be like, I've seen snow a couple of times, but never any flowers in snow, so must be interesting. They're very cool. It's actually these, and she'll point at the ones that are braided into her hair. And she'll be like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get you guys where you need to go, okay? Sure. Uh, yeah, and you guys can basically take the time to Get the bodies. Yeah. Um, Got to get the the barbarian to carry it. I'm sure, the listen, the barbarian. Right? Yeah, I've got. I was already holding strength, my bag open. Right? Too, Let me just be, be clear. Fine, Valmir can carry it. Wait a minute, you got fifteen strength? <laughs> yeah, dude. Like I told you, my fucking stats are nuts. The barbarians got twelve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we have sixteen as the is the literal nineteen year old the strongest person in the room. I've got, got ten, so yes. You've got the int Bob and the buff bard, like <laughs> and then youthful exuberance apparently. Yeah, I've got sixteen, I'll carry it, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, so but as you guys are like gathering up the bodies, uh Rose will basically be like, Well, we can't go down to the basement, it's against the rules. But um, be careful. Sometimes, sometimes people don't come back. Can you show us exactly how to like open the door and get in there? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Thanks. And uh, she'll head on over to the door. I'm not gonna make you go through all those fucking steps because it's a completely different map. So, but yes, it's over uh, where the statues were. Um, and there's basically two handholds where you basically got to push at the right angle. Uh, as a ghost, she can't actually do it, but you yeah, guys but she do can it. Talk us through it. Yep. And you guys, and um, as you guys work your way down, but, oh, she'll you know say good luck and goodbye. If you want to say anything to the kids, you can. But as you work your way down, Alara, you you know you were wondering if there was any other entrances. The the, the only one was up at the top. It's all solid wall all the way down. Uh, until you guys will get down into the basement. Let me come uh, While I'm going downstairs, but, I want to keep an eye out for indications as to people that haven't made it back and possibly how they died. <laughs> Certainly. Um, oh, on your way before down. Before we go, sorry, sorry. Go I'm so yeah. sorry. Um, before we go, I will ask the girls. I don't suppose you are aware of anything that would um, still be cleaning. Say, if there was to be, I don't know, a, a fresh body in a bathtub that uh, has disappeared. Kind of see her. She's been pretty pleasant up to this point, almost joyful. Uh, but she kind of looks down at the ground and kind of puts her hands together and she says dad says there's a monster down there oh that's dig thanks for that did he tell you what it might be yeah she shakes her head and she says no but it eats people oh okay yeah that's fair either way don't worry we'll get you back where you need to be okay Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And uh, you guys can head on down. Oh, Mr. Yes, Skipper, I, I had to ask. I had to. Have you never heard the phrase ignorance is bliss? Mm -hmm. 
Have you ever heard the phrase forewarned is forearmed? Nope. You have now? Curiosity mm. killed the cat, satisfaction brought it back. Uh, as you guys work your way down the steps, no big deal. Um, we're going to go back to basically squares are going to be big again uh, because Ooh. trying to do the small ones down here was uh, you guys were going into walls and shit. So it's going to be real fucking cramped is what I'm trying to get at. So oh, yeah. just just be ready for that. Um, and you do go down like, you know, you that the uh, the house had uh, what was it? Four, four, four yeah. floors. Yeah. Yeah, and but you do go down for about ten minutes. Oh damn! Yeah, what were you saying, Alara? I was just saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> just making sure I was not interrupting something you actually wanted to do. Um, but yeah. down, like as you guys are going down there, there's no like footprints or dirt or anything. It looks like you guys are the first ones to come down. So. And uh, yeah, here let me get you I'm over here. Guessing they died in parts of the house. <laughs> Perhaps down here. Here you are. Yep. Yeah. When I said tight, this is what I fucking meant. <laughs> yeah, I'm I uncomfortably close to Velmir. Yeah, I just, I mean, what you guys can you move mean? yourselves a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, you descend the staircase and get into what is very clearly uh, some sort of basement. Um, looking around, everything's made of what would Lime call it stone material so, and things stone like rock that. Material, yeah. Yes. Uh, everything Base is carved material. out of stone. No, no, uh, the, is... the walls are made of wall material. Walls. Yeah. Yes, yeah. That... yeah, yeah, yeah. And things like that. Um, ultimately, yes, it's all just fucking stone. That's what it is down here. So, everywhere you look. Um, Valmir, since where I put you, why don't you give me an investigation right quick? Cool. Plus one to this. Let's go. Fifteen. All right. Lovely. All right, guys, what you want to do? Okay. Can't do much. I'm sandwiched between two gentlemen right now. Uh, you, you are free to pass through each other's tokens as you see fit. Um, you know what? Let's do the classic. Everyone give me perception checks. Let's let's get a okay. see, taste, <laughs> smell. You can have your 15 if you roll less than that, but you didn't. Uh -huh. God, this barbarian. ABD <laughs> go per Perception, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Investigation no barbed with the plus five. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, Melly, you're obviously pretty distracted on what you're doing, so there's that. I'm focused on not bumping the bones into the walls. Um, Alara, what did you roll, Valmir? 18, yep, and Talon. Uh, Talon, what languages do you speak? Uh, let me go look. Alara, same for you. All this in common. Common, Elvish, and Draconic. Okay. Lovely. Um, in the distance, the three of you, uh, Valmir, you can't quite make out anything, so your languages don't apply. Um, someone are, is it's chanting down the direct this direction. Some ones, I should say. Lots of some ones, it sounds like. Sounds like it's a party basement. Let's go figure that out. Yes, yeah, this chanting going on. <sighs> and I'm guessing I don't understand it. You don't, no. Um, neither of you do. Uh, um, so right there, Talon, you can uh, stop. And obviously there's a couple of doors. Uh, I yep. will go ahead and Oop. say... Uh, all right, door here. Rain, door someone's here. got Mage Hand all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah. Um, these doors all have the windmill crests that you've been seeing throughout the house. Basically, the family sigil. Fucking Valmir, of course. <laughs> all four of the doors. I don't know if you can see the ones on the right, but there are doors over there also. I was just going to say, can I see the, the doors over, like, here? Yes, those ones are open. Uh, and it looks empty. Like, that almost looks like they made it, but whatever they were doing with it, they never got to that. Okay. And then there is obviously a way up above you. I point out the doors to everybody because it looks like everybody's following me at this point and say, uh, do we want to check out the doors or do we want to check out this open hallway up here or open room ahead? Hmm. 
Looks, I mean, you can see the table. It looks like an eating station. There's no, like, the bowls are basically tipped over. There's no food or anything, but, um, there's like 12 bowls, so people have been eating here at one point. It may be prudent to try and lay these bones to rest before we go anywhere. It would and that's what I was thinking, yeah. I would hate for them to become a burden. No, are you kidding? They're great. A burden? Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, did we get directions once we got down here to the family tomb? No, um, it's that it's just down here somewhere. They weren't allowed down here, so... Yeah, that's, These that's, doors, that's... do they have any descriptions upon them? Or any indications of what might be within? There were two empty ones back here. They didn't look that deep. Oh, just the windmills. That are on all the paintings in the house. The family uh, now, now, actually, now that you guys are closer, um, you can see that they do have names etched into them. Okay, and perfect. Conveniently, the E and the F are Rose and Thorn, which is uh, Rose is here, Thorn is down there. Oh, yay! Perfect. We found the right ones first. Uh, first try. Okay. Yep. Let's get these two put away. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you can uh, open up the, the uh, crypt and uh, tomb, mm -hmm. coffin, guy, coffin, whatever you want to call it. Put the remains in. Yep. And give them the old push. Uh, I'm going to put the tiger in the Borden's one. Okay. Yep. Uh, dolls included in all that business. Everything will be yeah. handled. And they both get um, a quick funeral rite in Celestial as well. Lovely. And a small hunter's um, farewell. Well, uh... Too bad we don't have a river, so you could shoot the fire arrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty wicked. We'll get to it sometime. But uh, good job. Mission complete. Uh, you already got your reward, technically. Valmir, you have it. Um, but those of you that don't have inspiration can have inspiration. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. That mission is complete. I'm gonna mark Which, that. It, yeah, if if you have inspiration, let's put green dots on ourselves so we know oh, that, Daniel. like, hey, everyone. Yep. Yeah. So at this point, everyone has it. It just makes it easier. So because you can still give inspiration to each other. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. I'm fine with that. That rule. Is, I mean, it's burning the inspiration potentially twice. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like I'm, yeah. that is totally cool with me. Um, now, obviously, that you've seen. That these two sides are the tombs of the children. Safe to assume on the other side, we have the, the tombs of the parents. Should you wish to investigate. That's all I'm saying. The chanting is coming from below. Uh, with that matter handled, perhaps we should go and investigate this noise before we little poke around. Okay. I'm curious, like, if the parents died, how they got into their tomb? Question? I mean, do you know if they're actually in their tomb? No. Only one way to find out, right? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not baiting you. You can do what you want. It's all good. <laughs> the huh? There it is. Um, now that you are no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Open the lock. Closer to the it. doors, you can see the name Walter and Gustav. That ain't them. Tis mm -hmm. not. Melly's all the way down through the Eaton area already. They said follow the noise, so <laughs> she's doing what she's told. Oh, it was on top of Valmy. Uh, Melly, when uh, let's stop real quick. Melly, when you get right there, uh, what's your passive perception? 
<laughs> Garbage. Let me see. Ten. Literally base. Okay. So, around the corner, uh, that is where the chanting is coming from. Oh, around the right side corner? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, now, who didn't oh, should get... I still stay? I'm yeah, real stop. quick. Uh, who didn't who didn't I ask for languages from? Valmir and Mali, correct? What languages do mm -hmm. you guys? Boop. Uh, okay, yep. Nothing you can understand. Uh, Mali, you... Mm, give me history or religion check. You might know what it is, but you don't understand it. Okay. Uh, they are speaking in uh, Infernal. Oh. Oh, um, yeah. That's devil's tongue. I hope it's not that rubbish ritual I was reading upstairs. Uh, it might be. Let's 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 go handle that. Uh oh. Yes, let let us proceed towards the devil's tongue. Yes. It seems like something you should my be wife. used to. <laughs> All right, Melly, as you uh, take your <laughs> spot right there. First jab. <laughs> you, <laughs> as you as you throw shade, um, <laughs> you will turn the corner and be like, "Oh shit, <laughs> there are <laughs> Fuck. some guys in masks that uh, no one was stealthing." So I'm just saying, like, I'm not asking in hardcore, so y'all want to stealth. Uh, and as soon as you basically throw that shade, take your step, <laughs> they turn around, and uh, it'll be initiative order. Damn. Uh, I will oh. say this, the chanting does not stop as they turn around. Oh, so it's not them. Yay. I wrote a full. There was definitely some coming Holy from over fuck. here. I gotta make sure this Sir, is are you all right? Did I hurt your feelings that <laughs> fucking bad, bro? <laughs> this, 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 this <laughs> apparently, I might Cutting be slightly words. vulnerable. Like, I've played shit with my instrument after the kids gave me fucking shit. So, <laughs> god damn. Oh no, I'm the bard has less. delicate sensibilities. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I can't. That, but, Is that everybody? Uh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> you tried. <laughs> well. Okay. Well, at least it's a bottleneck. Yes, exactly. Battle will begin. Imagine your Final Fantasy battle music, except you can't use that because that would be copyrighted. So. Yeah. Play spooky music instead. Instead, we'll use Resident Evil as uh, this guy will use his dash action to get here. He is wielding a scimitar. They're all wielding scimitars. Uh, and then that's the end of his turn. This one is going up for you, Melly. Swinging with a scimitar. Ooh, he'll hit ya. Hey, look, his yeah. strike is dead. D6. <laughs> okay, no. Talon. You got one coming up the flank, I guess, for you. I uh, walk up to him and punch him in his face with my crowbar. We'll punch you with the crowbar. Yep, wow. that'll hit. Two. And then I'm going Woof. to try to grapple him as well. Woof, alright. He is grappled. Um, do you have the feet in your character sheet or not? I do, yes. Can you put it in chat for me, please? Maybe. I believe he's just grappled right now, and if you do it again, it becomes restrained, right? That's how it works. Uh, da, 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 da. With an unarmed striper, improvised weapon on my turn, you can choose a, just to attempt to grapple oh, a target. That's all it okay. says. Never mind, never mind. I'm thinking of a different feed, ain't I? Okay, never mind. Yep, all right, he's grappled. He can't move, basically. You got right. him. All right, anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Nope. Uh, that was my bonus action at action. That's all I got. All right. Melly took the old three dammy. Yeah. Just 
Do the only thing I ever do, and it's WAP, and never mind. Actually, fuck it, inspiration. WAP. Maybe? Yes. Um, okay. 11 was real close, I'll say that, but you're right, it would not have hit, so. I had a feeling. I was like, hmm. Well, Max, however, I however, nine is his HP number, so. Oh, damn. How do you one shot this dude that swings a scimitar at you? <laughs> Probably accidentally. <laughs> the best way. <laughs> <laughs> he like blocks it and then just almost looking to see if Talon is okay, still somehow manages and looks back just, oh, oh, I am sorry. And just cough up blood and collapse to the floor. Oh, oh I'm going to have to pray about that later. I mean, at least it was quick. You could have extended it two rounds, you know? I know, but damn. <laughs> Sorry, trauma. another one's going to take his place. Um, but you can screw me back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. This is why we're going to keep you alive for a while. <laughs> She's got to get as traumatized as possible before you mm -hmm. kill her. <laughs> Help her get attached, all that stuff. Uh, no, I'm not going to move. I'm going to stay right here. Because I'm right. bottlenecking it for the rest, for the, the squishies. Yep. Good call. As if I'm not squishy. <laughs> Uh, outside the barbarian, you are the least squishy. That's right. This guy will run up. You killed Jim. <laughs> I didn't even know Jim. I'm sorry. Look at Jim. Jim the coolest. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he swung at me first. You don't want to hear that bullshit. Uh, Lara, it's your turn. God damn fucking Jim. <laughs> All right, Lara's going to aim her crossbow. All right. Uh, this guy, um, I'm gonna save my hunter's mark because I don't know if I might need it. But there you go. Number is. <laughs> uh, it doesn't okay. matter. Is the number 25? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Ignore the hunter's, the hunter's mark, mark up yep. the top. But that right. was gonna be 10. <laughs> yep. He only has 9 HP and he'd already been hit yep. by a crowbar anyway. So, uh, where, mm. yeah. Where's your shot landing? Straight into his neck, apparently. <laughs> Okay, while uh, while the barbarian's grappling him, so blood just spurts all over you, Talon. I'm sure you're used to it by now, but you just next to the assist. Bolt sticking out of its neck. Uh, anything else you'd like to do with your turn, Alara? Uh, Get it. Shimmy here, so I can uh, actually see. Oh no, nope, shimmy here, so I can see what's going on. All right. Back up. This one, um, I think maybe I'll, no, my, yeah, just you, Melier, is gonna see this. The the star, you know how fucking D and D be. The star <laughs> is an altar, and uh, he begin. He drops to his knees and starts praying in um. Oh, shit. It's not fiendish. What did I just call devil's it? Devil's tongue. Yeah, devil's tongue. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that one. Well, because infernal is devils and abyssal is Infer demons. Yeah. She yep, knows infernal. the difference. <laughs> he begins doing that. He's praying, uh, which, you know, I'm assuming you're just... <laughs> so. We should be okay with that, but this moment is stressful. Uh, Valmir. Well. You can move through your allies like tokens and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm going to step to. there. And, uh... I can see this dude. Just. So, I'm going to... <laughs> you think praying will save you from the little one? I'm assuming Melly's smaller than the rest of his shit. Is she short? Uh, sure. She's the smallest one, but she's Excellent. like five six. Yeah, so the little one. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna mock it. Like Alara is only like two inches taller than her. <laughs> yep. She, she's she's tallish. She's only nineteen. Bean. Everyone else she is just grow. taller. Yeah, yeah, she's only nineteen. She's got room to grow. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, he he's he's getting mocked viciously, apparently. Hmm? Uh, the one in front of Melly. No, uh, the one no, praying. the one praying. Can you see him? What kind of mockery do you got for the guy praying? Right there. Uh, that was my mockery. You think praying will save you from this one? Oh, gotcha. Yep. 
the, the uh, that one's just disadvantage, one. right? Yep. On attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. That's not the prone one. No, prone. sadly not. No. Uh, we got wisdom. Oh, wow. He will look back your direction and he will say, "My Lord protects me," and he'll go back to praying. I'll, I'll use silvery bobs on on that now. <laughs> <laughs> Is what I would Rewind. say. <laughs> If it wasn't banned. If I was allowed it. Uh, also, I don't think you have any spell slots left, so... I have a gem I could crush, but... Yes, you still. can. Oh, yeah, but that, that's... Uh, you know what? I'm going to step back. Step back. All right. Uh, the, guy, the two cultists that uh, went first are already dead, so Talon, you're up. Um, while you can go through your ally squares, you can't go through enemies, so the, unless you got a ranged weapon, you're probably going to have to go all the way around. Yeah, I was going to continue going where this guy came from anyways. I'll he tell you did. what you see as you go. Oh, uh, wow. Yes, yeah, so, convenient that you stopped there. Uh, there's a guy who would appear to be tied down to the bed there. Not like naked or anything like that, but he is tied down. Uh, and again, another, this one is like a teapot. And it actually has like got steam coming from it still. So, someone recently was drinking out of this. The hell? Um... Yeah, I can't do anything else besides move. Uh, can I shout to the guy and say, what's going on? Um, you can dash as your main action if you want, which will double your move. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can shout, but he will respond like, or he's, he, he's gagged. Yeah. All right. I made it all the way over to him. Uh, once yeah. you get in here, though, his eyes go wide, and he's just shaking his head, no, no, no. Can I just on-gag him and ask, what, why no? Um, you, well, use your action to dash, so on, you can wait. Oh, next okay, turn, gotcha. you can. Of course. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Melly. <laughs> Flair of Jim, and perhaps now Ted. <laughs> no, I, I won't do max damage twice in a row. There's no way. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, the cultist killer! Holy <laughs> shit! No. Your lord oh, will no. not save you from the small one. <laughs> oh. This has some, like, Tucker and Max versus Evil vibes where they just keep Tucker killing themselves. Evil. It's absolutely Tucker and They're Dale right now. They're killing themselves on my swords. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm not even hitting that hard. Oh. She's just like, I don't understand how I keep doing this. <laughs> just so, as you enter the room... I see a lot um, of dead people. <laughs> yes, lots of dead, uh, very clearly chained sacrifice skeletons. Uh, fear not, they're not going to come to life. Um, now, I'll get more detail once everyone, you know, after the fight's everything, but that's, that is a statue of Strahd, out of character, so... Uh, and that is what he is praying to. Oh, got it. Yeah, you're not going to get a fucking answer, my guy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Motherfucker has better things to do with his life than deal with your dumb ass. <laughs> is that the end of your turn? Uh, she'll come in and just, like, reach over and just, like, tap this guy on the shoulder with her shield. Just, hi, I'm sorry, I really didn't mean to do that, but can you please stop? He chants harder. <laughs> Lamal, perfect, yeah. <laughs> All right, Alara. This isn't good. Oh. Okay, one more. Ah. I'm guessing someone went up this door. So, you, yeah, there's a Talon, door below. What are you doing? <laughs> Talon. What? Yep, sorry. No, I didn't hear on. anything. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, there's a guy in this bed here. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to talk to him, but he's gagged. Can you not see? Can you not see him? Yes. Um, I wish I could hear you guys right now. I have so much more shade I could throw. <laughs> I don't really want to waste an option, but I will. I'm 
scared to open this door though. Um, you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm good. Yep. <laughs> okay. That's fine. All right, you do that. Um, it's funny that you guys talked about mimics earlier. <laughs> and, and you were afraid to open that door <laughs> because oh, I listen. I removed it, but it was a mimic door. It's fun. Now that you've ended your turns, so you're not going through it until next turn. It's like that's real funny. You guys got a sixth sense for that shit. So <laughs> I just uh, have memory that I'm doing my best not to call on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, Melly, like I've got PTSD from this house. Yep. <laughs> about to get a little bit more. Uh, despite your doubt that his lord would indeed answer. <laughs> That's all OC doubt. It's fine. Melly believes in him. He can do whatever he wants. Um, he begins to shimmer with a red glow. Oh. This guy, this fella right here. Oh, seems boy. To be almost possessed. Oh. And he just starts swinging at you. Okay, miss, miss. And miss. Damn. Uh, actually, with the me remembering that it's a only a plus oh, one yeah. shield, not a plus two, it is exactly 16. So he gets me. Uh, plus two. He is raging. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's what well, Strahd then. gives him. You can live longer. Grat. I will avenge my brothers. Evil. I really didn't even mean to do that. I'm sorry. That seems to piss him off even more. I'll kill you. Uh, <laughs> Val what here. Is hit really well. <laughs> Thank you. Um, remind me, do you want me to do movement as full squares, or are you happy with diagonals? Diagonals are fine. Uh, uh, I'm not uh, that restrictive. Yep. Yeah, I was just Similar. checking, because it's the yep. difference of being behind melee or getting next to this dude. So... I'm gonna run in, spear in hand, zzz, and because two handed, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna try and stab. I'm gonna try and stab it. Sure so I, I, I don't it. know that Melly's that badly hurt as I'm running in, so I'm going to run in, attempt the stab, and fail, um, mm. and realize it's because I'm distracted by all the blood. <laughs> yes, that's oh. sure. Yeah. I might be able to do something about that. Um, I'll be fine. Okay. Yep. Uh, well. Mm hmm. Uh, your your efforts thus far have proved very fruitful. Continue uh, and uh, to to inspire. Thank you. Yes. And <laughs> yeah, there you go. Good. You got it. That's it. That's yep. me. Trust me. I already know. <laughs> You start talking shit at the end of your turn. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, here we go. Let me let me get ready. <laughs> Where's my dot? Pick dot, yeah. let's go. Pick dot. <laughs> that shit's so OP, though. Like, I love it, bargain inspiration. When you get it on a short one. rest, yeah. it's like, I'm just going to burn it until we get the short rest. Like, that's what it's like. Oh, does it change uh, the short rest? Uh, I'm pretty sure for everyone it does. I think at level five. I have it on Doji. I'll, I'll check, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Talon. You may not I unbeg this guy. Yep. Uh, and he'll basically be like, "Cut me free! Cut me free! They're in the walls." Uh, who who's in the walls? Creatures! I'm dead. I don't know. Get me free. Mm, I don't. Was, I don't really. Was... Yeah, okay. You you seem a little a little agitated right now. Can you calm down just a little bit? No, they're going to eat me. Get me free. I look back and say, I think he's a little parrot. Something's messing with this guy. I don't. He doesn't seem like he's right. He says there's creatures in the wall. There is creatures in the wall. I thought it was just the, the There kids. is creatures in the wall. <laughs> Our friend's body is gone and was dragged through the walls. All right. Well, you did use uh, a main action. You you main main action remove his gag. So yeah. if you want to cut him free, you gotta wait till next turn. 
Uh, I'm going to leave it up to you to decide if you want to let him free or not. I don't know anything about people or things in the wall. And then I take a step back. That's my turn. All right. Melly. Oh, boy. Bloodied Melly. Holy shit. No, it's okay. Not for long. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and burn all 10 of my points. Just means I'm not going to be able to hit him this turn. And I'm almost at max. <laughs> nice. Melly's just... Valmir's freaking out like, oh, you're bleeding a lot. She's like, no, I'll be okay. Puts a hand on the stab wound and it glows this like dull gold. Pulls her hand away. It's immediately stitched and gone. Like completely knitted back together. I love See? paladins. Perfectly fine. And that's my turn because fuck a bonus action. I'm a paladin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> At level two. Just step or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, all right. Alarla. Okay. She's going to zip over here. And uh, untie the poor bugger. Okay. Uh, that'll be your main action. You will get him free, and he's going to look like basically towards where Talon is. And he's going to be like, we need to go. We need to get out of here. They're in the walls. I told you there something was wrong cultists. with this fellow. There is cultists. Get a weapon. Don't hit our friends or I'll hit you. And yeah, uh, he he looks around and he's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we leave. We need to go. We need to go. Um, Anything else? That's, yeah. That's me. On my way out. <laughs> Alrighty. Raging cultists. Yay. You swung a spear at him, so he's taking a scimitar. One scimitar swing at you, two going into uh, melee. Okay, Valmir's good. good melee, up. these next two are into you. Uh, plus hit. two. Yep. Yep, that's fine. He's like, swoosh, you know, doing like Indiana Jones swingy, like, oh, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you guys. Like he's into it. He thinks he's he's gonna avenge his boys. Is what he's thinking. Like he thinks he's vibing, but he's yeah. really just that one crackhead at the rave. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he's done. There's no <laughs> way. Like, all oh, right, yeah. Valmir, what you got? All right, Valmir is gonna spear pointed in his direction. Stop. <laughs> oh no! To there. The flank. Yep. Hey, man, here. Can I get a wisdom save real quick? Mm -hmm. I love hearing that laugh in the background. <laughs> Why? Sammy just cackling like a yeah. feral fucking hyena. You're a little I'm close there. to that. Hey. Strahd's dead. You, uh... You do, like, there's no... I'm not gonna give you any type of penalty, but this... This statue. Mmm, you don't like this. Okay. Then I'm gonna... Uh, oh, okay. I, mm -hmm. I was about to be very worried for a second then, but yeah, cool. That's, now it is raging. All right, so he's going to take half, but that's fine. And then I'm just going to be like, I don't like that. Um, it's just don't, yep. Mm -hmm. Basically, within five feet of the yeah, statue. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, you good? Uh, yes. Yep, that's me. Okay, real quick. Top of the turn order, number at the roll of 20. So before you go, Talon, the walls in this room are going to open. And out will lumber these two nasty-looking <gasps> zombie creatures. They're not doing anything this turn, but the guy in the bed's going to be like, I fucking told you they were in the walls, man! <laughs> and now it's your turn, Talon. <laughs> All right, all right. I believe you. Uh, let let's let's go then. Our friends are back this way. Follow follow us. Uh, um, I just start heading back towards where I assume everybody else is at. Great. Okay. And then I, as far as I can go. 
Melly. Usual thing. Blip. Oh. <laughs> you do have the, um... Oh, I do. Hard it. That, that might do it. You need a four. Hey, ah. that'll hit. Yeah, I had to do shit damage eventually. Yeah, I was say, if you do the nine, you can kill him, but you did not, <laughs> so he will still be alive. Still, he's bloodied, but he's going to think he can still avenge Jim and Ted. What's this one's name? This one? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Bob. Dakota comes to mind. My brain said Carl. We all went different places. <laughs> it's good long into the session. That's why we're Bill. all going different it's ways. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Alara. Is this oh, guy yeah, going on my turn? Mm -hmm. You freed him, so he will go after you, basically. All right. He's got no weapons or anything, uh, by the way. Like he just. I will tell him to disengage and. Don't. Yeah. He will. Run. Don't worry. <laughs> He's going to do exactly what you're doing. How the fuck did the Bob move so much? He didn't have to disengage because he was behind you. Rude. Okay. So he was able to dash. Yep. Okay. He had the zoomies. Yep. So it's yep. Um, he said go and I said I'm gone. Anything Bye. else, Alara? Nothing else I can really freaking do. Um, uh, because that's my action to disengage. disengage you. Yeah, yeah. I I can't do anything. So. All right, same dealio. One going into you, Valmir. Oh, for eight. He will slice down uh -oh. towards you, and then he'll shift his blade and look at you and be like. Twice it's you there, uh, Melly. Okay, miss and miss. Hit your shield both times or whatever. You'll parry yep. him. Think, think. He is breathing pretty hard at this point. You guys have kind of jacked <laughs> him up a little, so slowly worn him down. Well, uh, Valmir. Hmm. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna. And mock him viciously. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, if he fails, he's dead. He will he point so to his little helmet thing and be like, You can't get in my head, swine. That's not nice. Oh. Anything else you'd like to do? Yeah. Nope. That's me. <laughs> All right, uh, Talon. They're not on turn order, but the, the the guys that came out of the wall are going on turn on twenty, basically. So before you go, they're gonna go. Uh, one's gonna dash up towards you, Melly, <laughs> and one's gonna uh, dash up you mean here. Alara. Alara, I'm sorry. Yep. What the um, hell? But they're gonna dash. Also, he'll just break fucking right through the door. Um, but they dash, so they're not doing anything. But yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> coming out of nowhere. Now it's your turn, Talon. All right, I'm going to come down here. And smack <laughs> this cultist guy with a crowbar. He looks um, like he's been trying to... Don't get too close to that up. statue. Friend. <laughs> All right, pal. Also, uh, there's one more of those ugly guys uh, back to the way I just came from. Are they you're doing? And I, uh, no, we found a guy strapped to a bed. It's a whole thing. He would guy. He was saying there's things in the wall. These guys came out of the wall. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll talk about it after they're dead. <laughs> so town will run in the room, and the cult is like cheaters. You're fucking cheaters. And then he'll get clubbed in the head with a cro or the crowbar, and he'll die. He's dead. Nice. Yep. So, um, that's it. I didn't Talon, have to do else? it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't kill a cultist. <laughs> Talon, you good? Oh, uh, yeah, that's all I can do. I don't feel like raging quite yet. Hey, Melly. 
I think you might have had a square of movement left. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Beep! I'm gonna come down and try to hit this thing. Yeah, this thing is a nasty looking. Like you guys fought zombies, but this thing looks like it it works out and it's a zombie, basically. Beef. <laughs> With huge old claws. These things are dangerous. But pretty easy to hit, so yes, that will connect. Um Just for shits and oh, do I It's an undead. I was gonna say, just for shits and giggles, you I'm gonna burn a smite. Yeah, right. It has I've been waiting the whole time. So I'll I'll burn one. Alright, here okay. we go. Okay. First level, fiend or undead, yes. Crit, no. Ooh. That's a bummer, a you got a one in there. Yeah, there's a one. I, I set up a macro that gives me like three questions so I can be sure I get it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, 19, though, is actually going to get it into bloody. These things have considerable amount of HP, so... Yeah. That smite wasn't great, but... I mean... It's like, you... this is the first time she's actually seen an undead trying to fight us other than just the little shit zombies. <laughs> this What's... actually feels like danger. Yeah, what's it look like when uh, you, you swing with your Divine Smite? What, what goes on with your weapon? Uh, that same golden energy that she healed with goes along the center of the blade, and it's in a vine, like a vine work pattern to be like flowery Ooh, and stuff. I like it. Yep, yeah, I it goes like that. up the center. I can see it. When you can <laughs> visualize it, it's a good time. Uh, yeah, you're good, I'm assuming. little golden energy flower vines the center of the sword and all right get what he's bloodied were you saying something i'm sorry i feel like i interrupted you uh you're good right it's uh no yeah, bonus actions or anything okay. no, uh, Lara. dash connie because he's not yeah he, he can be counted yeah everything you can see can dash yeah no what i meant is this guy can dash because she's talking about provoke. Yeah, he's not gonna provoke. Oh yeah, no, not from because he's uh, technically around the wall. Yeah, you yeah, you are correct. Yes. Um, but okay. I'll, he's not I'll gonna need to dash. Dis disengage, but he can dash to safety. One, oh yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yep. Three, yep. four. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's as far as I get with my disengage. That's all I can fucking do, so... It's okay, we still love you. <laughs> I ain't taking on one of those things on my own. You are making the correct decision. <laughs> That's just, I think, listen, Alara, you're an undead slayer. You know that a ghast is dangerous. So, yeah, so you're making the right call. Um, this guy's actually dead, so we don't have to worry about him. Uh, this and, guy and goes my right guys up. can yeah. dash and get get safely away and out of reach of the aghast. So he's he going can... yep, he's going yeah. in the other room. Yep, yeah. he's good. Yeah, I, I too hide over in the corner. Disengaging. And, uh, okay. Going up here. This guy's over in the corner like a tornado drill at school. He's got his hands over his head <laughs> and shit like that down in the corner. <laughs> so, um, you're disengaging main action? Yes. Alright. Yeah, but that's me. Okie dokie. Uh, all right, one second before you go, Talon. Okay. Yeah, this one's straight up going to come up through the fucking door right at you, Talon. So the first one's going at Talon, Melly. The next one will be going at you because you divine smited it. Okay, yeah, that, no, that's fair. Did um, he just open a magical door in the wall or was there one there that I missed? No, he came no. down and around oh, through this way. He ran. Oh, through okay, it. gotcha. There is a. Through it. Uh, he's gonna swing at you with his claws, there, Talon. Oh, dude, are you fucking kidding me? All right. Never whisper. I crit you. I crit you. <laughs> yeah, I fucking crit you, but it's a whisper. So here we go. <laughs> hmm. And now I miss. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Well, he misses on you. Um, and the other one, Melly, is going to go for you. Claws, because they're just way more devastating if you get paralyzed. So that's all they're going to do. That makes sense. Okay, well, it hits. Um, Dammy and 10 Ellie. for the DC of, con or the con save for DC 10. Please. 
<sighs> yeah, like you can kind of feel it. Like, oh, oh no. Lincoln, but you just get to shake it off. The, the, mm hmm. <laughs> yes. Please, please, uh, please don't get hit by those claws. They really hurt and they might. They, they, uh, oh, my fingers are numb. All right, uh, Talon. Yeah, that. Your turn. Yep, go ahead. I'm just going to rage and then hit him with my crowbar. Or not. You had the right That's call when you started oh. flanking. Well, yeah. Come on, man. There you go. Yep. <laughs> 17 <laughs> will hit. Yep. With a raise. Give me that dammy. Eight. Eight. Yep. And then um, I'm going to also try to grapple him just because. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yep. I just got to get used to that, don't I? Oh, no, you rage. You rage, which is a bonus action. Oh, yeah. That's all right. My bad. No, yep. That is. <clears throat> Next time, though. Just ignore. Ignore me talking. Yep. <laughs> uh, Melly. I'm going to try to end them. Oh, God. Which one? Probably yeah, the one in between me. us. Uh, going for the one in between us. Okay. I'll hit. Yeah, I have to burn that other one at this point. Because, Four. geez Louise. Burn it and hope it's better. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, first level undead, yes. Crit, no. Ooh, that's, that's not better. 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 You got him bloodied again. Got... These guys got a lot of HP, is the thing. Okay. He is. Now okay. he's within one shot. That's all I'm saying. So. Okay, somebody please clean this up. Are you done? Yeah. All right, Alara, you're up. Alara. Finally. <laughs> Finally, don't gotta disengage. <laughs> to wiggle next to Valmir. And. Fuck it. Um, she is going to Hunter's Mark. The one uh, down here, actually. She'll Hunter's Mark that one and shoot a crossbow at it. Okay. Good luck. Yep, that'll hit. Oh, and I forgot the freaking hunter's mark. Um, one of these. You got a shot here. You might be able to kill it. You can just roll a d6 if you want. There you go. Yep. Seven. Hey, you got it. Right between Dead. the eyes. Sweet. Dead on the floor. You good where you're at? Yep. Okay. Valmir. Rising up to the ballad, apparently. <laughs> Um, gotta do what you he's gonna do. look down at this guy who's <laughs> cowering in the corner and be like, "The least you could do is pick up one of their weapons and you know make yourself useful." Unlike that one's friend. Excellent. Yep. <laughs> you can give me a persuasion check or intimidation check. Your choice. I mean, yeah. Uh... <laughs> While well, I rolled this thing's wisdom. It's a good old time. Oh, he fails. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so does he. Oh. <laughs> you have inspiration. <laughs> ah, I'm going to waste all this, this shit, though. That's fair. He's, uh, his knees are shaking. The, the <laughs> mockery was more just to give him the disadvantages. Was what I'd was, be so. surprised he hasn't wet himself, so. Yeah, yeah almost, right? He's, he's close. This this guy is very much a scholar. Let's say that much. Um, he, I just... have disadvantage on his next attack. Correct, yeah. Then yeah. the old like, oh yeah, he he does a multi attack anyways. You're right. Yep. That, uh, I mean, okay. I, it's a D4 damage, right? It's not going to be game changing, but the disadvantage could save yep. a life at this point. Oh yeah, that's insane. Uh, Melly, he's going to attack you because you, yep, you fucking blasted him. So <laughs> she's a little Turn too around. holy in here. At, at disadvantage, splicing oh, down. Whoa. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. That would have been rough, wouldn't it? Jeez. Uh, yeah. I mean, yep. He, he missed, though. That's it. Uh, Talon, you're up. You definitely hit. Wolf. Plus two, because rage. Oh, correct, mm -hmm. yes. Still alive, though. Oh, right, right. I'm going to grapple him. He ain't going nowhere, but let's do it. 
He wins. A tie is... Yeah, he wins. Tie in defender favor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now that there's a ton, Melly's probably just gonna kill him right here anyway. It's a bit. Yeah, 16. Beep. I, yep, he had 4 HP left. Okay. The gas just... <laughs> to the floor. Dead and defeated. Let me clear out turn order. Melly, 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 Melly. I'm sorry. Hang on. Stop. 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 <laughs> I was waiting. You got for you within to five it. feet of the statue. I did not realize. Yeah, I, I did say before. Yep. I wasn't. Yeah. You said you didn't head. like it to stay away from. No. It. When Talon came in, I said, "Do not stand near the statue." After she heard you say, "I don't like that." That's all right. It, it works good after combat as well. Would you please give me like a wisdom? She, she didn't think anything of it. She thought you were just creeped out of it. I will say that you're like, hey, I need to kill this fucking undead. Superseded yeah, it yeah. until now, basically. Cool. And then she turns around oh, and just no. brain Ooh. dead. Yep. Excellent. So she'll turn around and look up at this thing. <laughs> So, what you are looking at, by the way, because not everyone has played Strahd, so let me explain what you're looking uh, at real quick. He's currently on my desk in front of the monitor that has Roll20. I, I finally got the pop figure. I will give the description that is in the pop figure. Nice. Of I Strahd? <laughs> I've been chasing that thing for months, and I finally got it. It's currently sitting in front of my desk, or on my desk, in front of the monitor that has Roll20 on it. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, this room is called the Dark Lord's Shrine. This room is festooned with moldy skeletons that hang from rusty shackles against the wall. A wide alcove in the south wall contains a painted wooden statue carved in the likeness of a gaunt, pale-faced man wearing a volum... A, that's a big word. Voluminous? Voluminous? Let's no, cut... Voluminous? Voluminous. Yeah, I might not be able to say it. Voluminous. A big black cloak. His Voluminous. pale left hand resting on the head of a wolf that stands next to him. In his right hand, he holds a smoky gray crystal orb. Uh, the room exits. Yeah, you see the rooms. Uh, enchanting can be heard from the bottom. Uh, what was that, Alara? What did he say? It's made of wood, I don't think. It's stone. Oh, material. um, let me check, actually. I think it I think it is wood, actually. I think you're right. Uh, the statue depicts Strahd. Uh... No, it actually doesn't say. I guess it must be... Oh? It must be stone. Yeah, it must be stone if it doesn't say. Like, it's a statue, right? So... I thought you said wooden. Uh... I thought it was for some reason, too. I don't know why. That's my bad. Uh, it is a uh, stone statue. Oh. Yep. Uh, and the man is no longer shaking, by the way. He's just kind of brushing himself off. So how brain dead am I, I right now? I will help him up. Yes. You, um, <laughs> currently, no issues. I will say that much. And I'm going to collect up okay. my, uh, my, my bolts, my, my valuable bolts. It's the only weapon I got right now. Okay. Question. Is, like, oh, I already asked this, I'm pretty sure. Like crossbow, that counts as... Simple weapon, right? Ooh. Or martial weapon? It might. Let me see. Or is it that in its own proficiency section? It'll be. It'll either be simple or it's a simple. Yep. Okay. All right. That's fine. Thank you. Scimitars oh. are martial, fortunately. Yeah. But why can it be rapiers? <laughs> Sorry. It's because those are higher. De I think those are higher They're damage too. D8, yep. Yeah. Um, I am going to pick up one of the scimitars. Um, they are finesse. The hand axe. Uh, that's fine. Because I am proficient in simple and martial. It's just if ever I need to begin melee, I'd like a better thing than my cleaver hand axe thing. Mm. Um... I'm just going to look down at this quivering bloke and be like, Sir, my sort of friend over there has seen to the last of the immediate danger. 
Kindly, who are you? What brings you to this place? He will gladly do so, but if anybody, real quick, anybody else got anything they want to do in this room before he I starts chat? Scimitar. How do you what? How do I spell scimitar? S C I. I think it's. Uh, yep. Thank you. It's a scimitar. I just wanted, I just wanted it so I could drag it onto yeah. my page, but I couldn't freaking. It's the C's that. like. Yeah. Weird. Um. Talon, uh, finesse weapons means you can use dexterity as your attack and damage modifier. Or, I don't know about damage modifier, but definitely attack modifier. I would oh, yeah, recommend taking a scimitar. That's why I said I want one too. Oh, okay. I don't I know not if I hear that. Yeah, I didn't hear you say that either, dude. Sorry. But uh, it's a D6. I was probably muted. You can have my hand axe if you want. There's four Either way, scimitars, right? Like, yeah, there's yeah. four scimitars. Either way, it's a D6, so... Um, all right. But yeah, definitely using my scimitar. I'm going to dump this uh, cleaver on the ground because I don't want it anymore. Finesse, by the way, is uh, for attack and damage rolls both. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like it automatically did damage for decks, so I'm yeah. good there. Yeah, it's there both. There we go. <laughs> was that what, um, what was your barbarian, Faye? Oh, uh, Jalen? Yeah. yeah. No, was she was, she was long swords. Next? Okay. No, yeah, she yeah, you're was, right. You're she right, was yeah, yeah. she was strength. She was muscle mommy. That's right. Yep. Yep. That's right. Had to be yeah. able to carry around a fucking prince. <laughs> that's right. Yes. Yes. Much carrying. I do recall that now. <laughs> Start acting uh, like brat. Carry like potato sack. Yep. It's like I do not have time to deal with your bullshit today. <laughs> we have to move. Yep. <laughs> like we All gotta right. go. <laughs> we need to find a way out. Uh, but the the gentleman that you chatted at there. Valmir, he'll he'll brush himself off and he'll be like, "I'll help him out." Yeah, he'll be like, Whew. "Close one, huh?" <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my name? Uh, yes, it is uh, Veritas. Uh, I am a scholar, and I have no idea why I am here. I was actually hoping you might be able to answer that. I woke up in a cart. Some lively gentlemen dragged me out of the cart towards this house. Uh, they did not make it, and I was captured by, well, the ones that you killed. I believe their names were Jim and Ted and uh, Dakota. Uh -huh. You missed the chance for the Bill and Ted reference, and I'm sad about it. <laughs> I should have. You're right. I should have. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. There was a fourth. He could have been called Bill. Yeah, the fourth guy was built too late. I missed it. Dang it, so it's gone. Go. Into the corpses. Mm -hmm. Are the <laughs> cultists have anything interesting on them? Besides, obviously, weapons that we really needed. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys can do absolutely investigation check to see if they have anything on them. I would like to also avoid this statue. Um... So if a cultist is too close, if I could just grab a hand and, like, drag it away from the statue, that'd be great. That guy's the only one that's really next to the statue. The other ones are Yeah, I'll, I'll grab, away. like, his wrist. But you can drag, drag him. Away. Yep. Yeah. Did you say the statue had an orb? Yep. It does have an orb. Yep, like a foggy crystal orb in the right hand. Mm-hmm. It could well, be Whilst he's nope. telling us his, his story, uh, I might use uh, a cheeky mage hand if I can lift that orb out of the statue. I was going to say, Melly also looks at you like, I really don't know why you were scared of this. It's it's fine. My dear, I'm not scared. Please. Not just Uncomfortable, insulting. excuse yes. me. Yes. Very different. I, I can't understand why, though. It's it's fine. See? And she's just standing right next to it. Mm-hmm. But perhaps you have... Um more divine blessings than I do to stave off such things, but uh, I can assure you it gave off quite the menacing aura. Perhaps, though, it might just be that I'm more attuned to the artistic nature of such things. Who knows? Either way, ah, bleeding. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and fix myself while we're doing things. A little bit? Okay, that's fine. 
Okay. Uh, Zhang, you can That's take the orb. Oh, goody. Uh, it will. It is a catalyst for uh, casting spells, by the way. I don't think any of you actually need it. Uh, I cries in holy symbol. No it is an arcane, yeah, an arcana. Not a druidic focus or a holy focus, unfortunately. Uh, but... Can I just, like, make my, a leaf my druidic focus? <laughs> if only it was that easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, however, when he takes the orb, uh -huh. uh, Melly, in your head, uh, you hear, one must be sacrificed. Oh, no. Um, can I respond to you? Are you okay? She's, like, thinking in her mind, can I talk back to you? Uh, you get no response. Okay, no, can't do that. Um, out loud, just um, that was a mistake. <laughs> um, did you find anything? Correct. Yes, <laughs> thank you for reminding me. Uh, the twenty. So, Talon, if you would roll me a d twelve plus five, that's how much gold you will find. Alara, you can roll me a d ten. Uh, plus three. Valmir, D8 plus two. Oh. Uh, D10 for you, Alara. Plus three. A little bit of gold. You know, I you never forgot know. to write a uh, roll in front of it. Yep. <laughs> All right, a little bit of gold coinage, but outside of the scimitars, they do have the like the cultist masks. They give no benefits, but if you guys want them, you you can have them. What are they made of? They seem to be iron, best you can tell. I'm gonna go ahead and say iron because I don't actually know, but they're metal. Uh, well, I will take all four because it may sell for a pretty penny. What makes know. you think taking this was a mistake? They weren't using it anymore. Um, I heard something in my head. The voices told you it was a mistake. Excuse me? Is that what you're saying? A voice, yes. Oh. It's a bit late to put it back. Then, oh, oh, this is a this is a moral conundrum. We'd gone through this morality. No, this choice. is different. This is about somebody's life. My life. Uh, somebody it hasn't been decided yet. Sorry, I sing when I'm nervous. But well, I, I can appreciate <laughs> such things. You, you, you heard a voice. What did the voice say, my dear? One must be sacrificed. Oh, well, we just dealt with what six. It was after you picked up that. Was it talking one in the singular sense, or was it talking, you know, as in one must, as in the self? Uh, did I hear that context, God? <laughs> <laughs> just sounded like someone must be sacrificed. Uh, it just sounded like someone. Well, let us go be done with whatever is making this chanting noise, and I'm sure that will fulfill your uh, obligations to whatever voices. I don't know if we can leave this room till that happens. I'm gonna try and leave this room. Yeah, you you can no problems. You're okay, thank get goodness. Uh, he, he's gonna go down to the south. Um. Well, it seems we can leave. Okay. Did you say was down here? 
<laughs> another room where the a gas came from. This is where those things came from. Uh, also, there's some hot tea if you'd like some. Though I do not trust anything in this place, but uh, perhaps there might be something of value. You, new friend, I've already forgotten your name, Veritas. Did you find yourself when you woke up without belonging? Did you manage to acquire anything on your brief journey through the house? I did not. I woke up with, well, what I have on. And, uh, I had a pack, but the uh, well, the individuals you killed took it from me. I don't know where it's at. Uh, I do have some magics, but outside of that, I'm not. I, I have not found anything. Or all of the things that they take from. It. Oh, where I was, yes, there's a chest in there. I, I, I've been in there for a while, so I kept wondering what was inside, so. Um, I'm, I'm gonna just quick have a look into this glass orb. If I get in any kind of like, you know, look through it too hard, you're gonna see the Aya Sauron kind of vibes with it, or. <laughs> Um, it does be, appear to be a swirling mist in it. Excellent. This but outside of that... Ellie, look, look at this! Okay. The gas inside it's moving. Oh. Well, that's neat. Do I see anything different? <laughs> Oh, but the swirling mists put you at ease. Almost like home. Oh, that's actually okay, that's that's not so bad. Thanks. Yeah, that that's actually kinda cozy. Thank you. Oh, it's almost what I see it wasn't such a bad thing taking this after all, right? Mm, the voice is still worrisome. I'm or if I was hearing voices in my head, I would be concerned as well. Usually it's not so bad, but usually it didn't sound like that. Uh, Let us go and check what's in this room before we see if we can locate the source of this chanting. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Or as it is uh, in Lime's yeah. game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I neglected to bring my lockpicks. However, we can get the chest open. I also my crowbar around like, I've got one of these! I was gonna just look for some knives or something to use as makeshift uh, picks again. tools, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you would have said yeah, that with kind of like a little bit of extra, like, flair, like a little bit of like... Big sass. Yeah. Oh, well. Please, be my guest. While well, everybody's um, doing that, I sit in this chair and kick my feet up on the table. I got it if you need it, and sit here waiting. Uh, so it's not like a padlock? I mean, the crowbar could probably be jammed in and, like, fucking rip the thing open type of dealio, but it's, uh, like, the lock is built into the chest. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You've already tried to pick locks with, like, cooking utensils, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Alara. Yeah. I'm assuming you just brought them with you, so you can try yeah. again. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Pray for me. In Celestial. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to peek my head around the corner and watch her while she does this. 19. Pray Takes you a couple, yeah, a couple of minutes, but uh, you hear the satisfying click as you uh, get through the lock. Would you like to open the chest? I will ask Valmir to open the chest. <laughs> Valmir, would you like to open the chest? Sure, oh, I'll use my chance. Okay. Flips it open. No issues, no explosions or shooting bolts or Thanks, anything like that. Whatever's in the chest, you're going to have to get closer to see, though. Because oh, it's have down. Alright. Inside, there will be a, a long bow and a long sword. Sword. 
Uh, and a pair of fancy clothes. If anyone is caring, I'll say they fit whoever cares if they want it. Uh, I'll take some fancy clothes. All Check right, they fit hard. I mean, yep, of course, fancy looking clothes, mm -hmm. uh, business um, attire, shall we say? Oh, Black um, tie affair. That's what, that's oh, what we're suited about. and booted. Okay, exactly, uh, yeah. all the frilly stuff. Um, and yeah. Any of you make use of this bow? What kind of bow did you say? Long, Long bow. Fuck yeah! Yeah, I wouldn't leave you hanging too long. And, mm. uh, there is a long... What? I must admit, I am familiar with this weapon, but I believe that the spear is possibly just as good for my purposes, if anyone can make better use of it. Otherwise, I'll keep a hold of it. I'd have you to. All yours, bud. Um, well, that could go for either of us, I think. Looking at Big Giganto over here. It is what it is. Oh, it's slightly better than a spear. How many yeah, arrows did I get with it? How many arrows? Oh, right, yeah, you have ten arrows. Uh, there's a quiver with ten arrows in it. Um, I don't think the longsword actually does anything for the barbarian because he's only got a twelve strength. Yeah, it well, does true. nothing finesse for me. That's why better. I said it. it's yeah. it's all you guys. Yeah, longsword is mm -hmm. not a finesse weapon. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I I can use it, but it's only gonna bump me from a d8 to a d10 on the the swing. I'd be going from six to eight. Um, yeah, so it's a better bump. It's up to you. you. Okay. I mean, if you're sure. Yep. Uh, I'll toss it over. Um, it's not, not silk. Thanks. Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah. Sweet. You've been geared up. The chanting is clearly coming from a little bit deeper but we are close enough to the end where I will say that we're going to wrap it up. Um, no. The chanting is still going. Didn't quite get to level three yet, but I'm confident we will finish Death House oh. next. Um, I don't know if we'll be going next weekend, uh, depending on how many people we have here, but we will return as soon as possible. Um, GG's, all that business. Zang, go ahead and take us out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, thank you guys for being here, running the game, playing the game, etc. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out in the chat. As always, we really do appreciate it. If you have yet to do so, uh, please hit that like button. Uh, and if you are new here, don't forget to do all the subscribe and share things if you think there are people that would also be interested in watching the games. Uh, if you wish to continue supporting the channel further, we do have a Patreon where you can find all sorts of uh, fun and interesting magical items that get uh, added weekly um and as well as you know cool supplemental materials that you can in your own games as well um that is it for today uh as i said i don't think we're back on tuesday uh we do have uh werewolf the forsaken second edition starting in that slot at some point soon but i don't think it's this week so i think the next game we have on the channel is going to be on friday which is the continuation of our uh, 5e campaign on foul wins so uh, we'll, we'll see you then uh, until then please do take it easy and as always if it's easy take it twice